Hello everybody, I'm almost ready to get started. I'm listening to the remix of this song currently, Memory of Running. It very much feels to me like Radiant Historia. I, I could very much hear this in that game, which also by the same composer. Let's move forward a little bit. Ooh. I wonder if this is my favorite song? I have to think about that from Legend of Mana. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Welcome, Dango. I do like the boss music. It almost feels a shame to pause it. Yeah, it's kind of weird telling, like, how far we are in Legend of Mana, since the game can be played in such a non-linear order. So I wasn't even sure what to call the stream title, other than we're making progress. Technically, I haven't even done stuff that I would have done in a normal playthrough. Since I'm doing them in a very, very different order than before. So we're going to double check. I'm either on two torches or I'm in, in search of fairies. I know I'm on the fairy arc. We'll confirm in a moment. Welcome, Parameter. I mean, honestly, Chad, this, this music, though. I think it... I'm not sure if I like this more or less than Erwin's theme, which we'll hear in a little bit at some point. But honestly, the boss music is up there, for sure. So sadly, we're gonna have to pause that for now. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Well, fortunately, we have a quest tracker in the game itself, so we'll find out very quickly which one I'm on. So, so far, we have not dropped a quest. There are quests that can fail to complete. We're coming up to one of them in this session. So we avoided missing the event entry from the... Uh, little cactus going missing briefly. That was a face from the Chocobo, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, okay, so we just finished two torches, okay. Wow, I can't believe we're already 20-something events into the game. That's crazy to me. Like, there's only 68, I think, total events, and we started one of them, which we'll worry about later. Yeah, I guess we just continue onwards with the fairy quests. There is a time I have to get rid of our chocobo for something, but that time is not right now. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. PC still being a bit weird. Hopefully, chat, by next week, we'll have it all fixed and resolved. But until then, might be sticking to mostly PS3 games for a bit. Okay, I just wanted to see the status of the food. I don't have to do this, but I figure I might as well check. Yeah, let's go back to the Gato Grottos. We should basically be good to go. The fear of talking to these people is real, I'm not gonna lie. Is there are so many quests that start by you just talking to somebody, and that'll mess up the quest order. I think in this scenario we're doing fine. check up on Matilda. That is our next big plot point. Oh, I should have been wiggle running. Slip and chat. Thank you tell I haven't been playing in a while. There we go. Get the wiggle. Oh, that's right. I, I love that that's a door, but it's a door you can't use. I that gets me every time. You have no idea. Alright. Abbott. Our abbess is calling you. Please go in. Sure. Let's go say hi to Matilda. Let's see, will the Chocobo cutscene bomb? 
Wow, that was surprisingly picky with where I had to stand to talk to her. I I can guarantee you, chat, I was mashing that confirm. Like I was item snatching in a Diablo game. I apologize to have called upon you. There is a favor I need to ask you. It's about Diana. She left here, saying she needs to talk to Erwin. She has to come back since. Could you please find her? <laughs> I love sure thing, Favai. Maybe, Favai. No way! We'll say sure thing. Thank you so much. I wish you luck. Search of fairies. You can tell it's part of the fairy arc. The fairy appears in the little cutscene. I guess it's nice to have themed side quests. She's dramatically gotta cut us off. Yep, but I could just walk past her. Wait a minute. I don't think I was supposed to be able to walk through her like that, but that's fine. I definitely clicked through her chat. I, I, I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to be able to do that, but don't tell the game that. I don't remember who actually gives you the hint as to where she is. <laughs> you cannot go in. I was gonna say, I felt like if I just held up, I would have been able to go through there regardless. I mean, I know where she is, but I don't remember which NPC actually bothers to tell you. But we might as well as meta break, I guess, slightly. So, I had to place the lake somewhat recently in order for this quest to appear. So that could be a hint, I guess the meta hint, if you were playing this by yourself. I thought it was like maybe one of the nuns mentions it briefly. Always kind of curious. So we have a very specific set of directions I need to follow to get through here. Oh, there we go, the wiggle. Left. The wiggle going. Go left again. Wow, Chocobo is so much more help than me. Chocobo the real MVP chat. I like that he shocked me, but my combo was so fast I hit I punished him. Well, I gotta get the timing down again. There we go, there's the timing. You can chain those. I don't think it's intended, but it's nice. Speaking of which, let's take a look at our skills real quick. We have high jump and moon soul. I forgot to write down what technique we're going for, but looking at that. I would guess... I see high jump and... Somersault. Was I meaning to go for Holy Light? I see that I have Fool's Play. I'm assuming I meant to do Somersault here. Which is fine. I don't mind getting extra uses of Moon Soul. We need that for later. So we're gonna double check that we do not have the ability Holy Light. Oh, okay. That should be our next one. We have a rank 4 one that requires it. Cyclone Racer was okay. Good mid-range attack. More seats is good. I'll need those later. So I went left, left. Oh boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting chat. Can I remember directions between combat? Upper right. Then we gotta go to the right, I believe. So we're basically trying to find the turtle. Chat might remember the turtle from last time. Disgusting. I might lose the money here. I don't know if it matters. Oh, we learned Holy Light instantly. Nice. Well, on the plus side, that means we have enough ability usages. But let's just immediately go to the next technique. We learned Holy Light so we could do lunge, crouch, and spin for something called triple supremacy. Lunge, crouch. And eventually we need to switch it up so that we need to do, uh... 
the other ability. So we'll, we'll get at least 10 uses of these, because we need to get a lot of uses regardless. I don't have the exact number that I need here. Unfortunately, I just have a general guide. So we went upper right, right. We gotta go to the lower right. We're basically going back to the same point where we saw the turtle. Let me go save. it just causes an easy sleep status. There we go, good cancels. For me, don't really need it. We're at the save room. I guess I could save. We go upper right, right, upper right, and I think just left twice. We should be good. I made notes last time we played, because I'm like, I'm pretty sure I just have to go to the lake entrance. Should do good damage and one shot the group. But it's nice to have these upgraded moves at least. It can save time sometimes. Despite the skill delay. Extra seats there is always good. Let's do rapid job. Poor Chocobo. It tries to take the XP, sort of. And we're like, nope. Actually, I should probably talk to the fairies just for flavor. Talk to them real quick. You didn't get anything by killing a master, did you? See how foolish you humans are. Where shall I go now? We got the item that was over here. And I believe we should now be there, basically. We've almost made it back to the entrance of the lake. Although, I think I could have taken a different decision. Or, I think there's technically two different directions. Like, if I go right, upper right versus bottom right, it doesn't really matter which one I do. Midway way through, as we found out last time. But anyway. Did you know how we differ from the fairies? Um... Uh... I guess I don't know. We're really all the same. Appearances are only the shadows reflecting on the lake's surface. It's a little difficult for me, too. Maybe jumping into a circle of fairies will send us to the land of fairies. Lady was there a while ago to ask about that. So that's the closest we've gotten to hint as to where we need to go now, but fortunately, we just have to go backwards slightly and we should come across the person we're looking for. Almost got a smooth combo, almost. We'll do a couple more combats and I'll switch out what skill we have. We probably just need more ranks of spin if I had to guess. Talk to you. Did you come all the way here looking for me? Yes. Thanks. It seems like I gotta go further. Did you get to hear Toad's story? Who's Toad? Say yes. I came here to see Erwin. Guess it was true that he was hiding in the land of fairies. Is it Matilda's power he wants? Or is it revenge on Eska? Sorry. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Goodbye. And she's like, la la la, and just ignores us. Now we gotta go downwards for the first time. So should one shot them. Never the Joker bow, apparently. Or Chobin Hood, I mean. Oh, 
Elder Bow. Is it worth using Elder Bow? Uh, no. <laughs> right, Chad, I was like, ah, uh, six, never mind. Should see a cutscene. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Diana? You look all grown up and demonic, Erwin. What are you up to, big guy? You've got all the fairies on your side. Hmm. Let's see. What am I capable of doing? Just answer my question. Say it! What are you going to do to Matilda? She's been aging too rapidly since she collapsed in the mines. Escat says it's because you took her elemental powers. You're taking away my friend, and I can't do a thing about it. Well, that's too bad. Oh, shut up. Give her back the elemental powers you've stolen. Slap. Go back and tell Matilda. You will see that it was only a dream when everything comes to an end. Is he invincible? Oh, let's talk to them. Has our master truly been killed? Stone Eye is now just a rock for us fairies, too. How could we protect ourselves from the humans? The master has died, but we have not. That is wonderful. Humans frighten me. I think we gotta go to the lower left. Although, actually, you know what? I want to see what happens if we go to the upper left there. Is it just treasure? Let's find out. Let's learn in real time, Chad. I actually don't remember what's up here. Assuming just treasure. Oh, it just brings to the save point. Oh. That makes sense. You know what? That makes sense. Because we went this way the other time. I forgot that it went to the save point. Never mind. That checks out. I'll properly cancel that. That time I did. Animal hide. As I said before, we need to kind of rotate our skills through. I'm gonna go for a little more. Let's see. The skill that we're trying to learn is triple supremacy. I'm curious if there's a quick guide that I could look at for the counts of how many times we need. The downside is that there's not a way to see how many times you've used it in battle. Yeah, I'm just opening it up right now. Because people have mapped out this to a T. Number triple supremacy. 16 crouch and lunge. 18 spin. So I think what we'll do is we'll change this over to spin. And if we don't get it, I'll just put a couple more in crouch. I feel like that's fair. Most of the skill uses at the high end require 20 to 25 from what I remember offhand. And it has been a while since I've learned them. It's not something you normally count in a game, but... No! I won't be able to make it! Not to get Ewing chat. There we go, she got kidnapped. Lord Irwin takes away the shadows that exist in us. He makes eternity begin! Here we go, chat. Boss time. Look at this. Nice intro. Let's see if we get a good combo going. Try to avoid hits as long as I can. There we go. Okay. Let's respect the damage. Uh, am I out of range? Oh, beat it. Not out of range. Let's back up. Oh, he went invincible. That sucks. I'm gonna crouch. Be gentle some HP. Oh, 
Chocobo buddy blocking for us. Thank you, Chocobo buddy. Alright, let's see if we can punish this. Good dodge, though. I've used some iframes. I need a longer skill. Annoying. Chocobo buddy at 1% health. Oh, Chocobo buddy, buddy died just as I killed the boss. GG. Rip Chocobo buddy. Nice. Double level up. Did you find anything out about Diana? Uh... Hmm. I guess I could say she went to... To the land of fairies. Does that mean Erwin is there too? No. I should not ask you anymore. Thank you. I used to see fairies very often myself. But Eska could not. So he used to make faces when I was speaking with them. We were talking about that when he was just here now. He says he could somewhat see them now. We still live around here. Ch Chocobo buddy just hanging out. Uh-oh. Forgot about the fairy king? Matilda. Who might you be? Sort of. Very goofy looking, that's for sure. Oh, I thought he had fairy wings, maybe not. We haven't seen each other for quite some time, Matilda. Woo, 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 chat. Don't you remember me? My name is Selva. Triple exclamation mark. Selva of the Four Winds. One of the Wisdoms. Yes, I used to visit you when you were an infant. I know you well. And you know about how Erwin took away my elemental powers. Yes, I do. Min era is about to end. Anything can happen. The era's end. You can foresee the future, sir. What will happen to Erwin and Escap? The future is decided by those who walk its path. You, Diana, Escad, Erwin, Elazel, Pearl, Lark, Sierra. Hmm. We know most of those names, but we have not met Lark or Sierra yet. Interesting. And Trey. Oh, happy th I love how happy they are to say Trey's name. You thought so too. I wanted to hear that. Oh, I cannot say anything about what the Wisdoms have decided. Hulban the Warrior, Gaius the Earth, Rosiade the Beast. Oh, we're finally getting the names of the other Wisdoms. Tote the Tortoise, Okiel the Bird, and Selva the Four Winds. You shall become the seventh member of the Wisdoms. Why choose me? You are the one who will end this era. Yes, my selfishness has caused chaos. I loved Erwin. Please allow me to die this way. It is for the world. Matilda, you're allowed to love anyone you want. People fear to see the shadow they make themselves. But there's no such thing as shadows. You understand, don't you? All my life, I've only seen the shadows. See only the future. The guilty feeling locks your heart. Open your heart, Matilda. Forgive yourself. The flow of time is about to change its way. People will become free. Hmm. In search of fairies, the end. How delightfully ominous. <laughs> so I guess, Chad, you have a you have a plot decision to make.
I, I guess it's technically up to you what you want to do next. So, you've been witnessing the back and forth between the, um... I guess the Demon Lord, Escad, the Vengeful Warrior, and Diana. So we have to take a side at some point between one of those three characters. And we're going to get an opportunity to select one of them now. So does chat like Diana more, or do they like Escad more? We have a little bit before I need to make that decision. Dan is probably the most level-headed. Maybe she's like the neutral ending. I don't know if I would exactly describe either of the other characters as quote-unquote the good or the bad ending. But she's probably the most neutral in the encounters. It's more like lol and chaos, I guess. Let's see, seed time. Anything else? Not really. So I already got the item that I wanted out of the orchard. Technically, I don't need to come back here anymore. But I just like checking in on it. Let's go make sure a journal entry gets recorded. And then I have to make sure not to leave the area that we're in, because by the way, that will fail the event. Change your paradise flashbacks? Oh no. I want to go to the fairy world, so we're going to make sure he writes in the journal. By default, I'll probably pick Diana of the choices. I believe what we do will be locked in though. Once we do this, we cannot go back. Actually, I'm a liar. I double checked. Never mind. We're not it. We're not at the point where we get locked in. I guess then we'll just do the optional boss. There's. I guess there's no reason to not do the optional boss. Yeah, let's just do an optional boss. Why not? See, unfortunately, the game is a little obtuse here where potentially you're supposed to go. The idea being is that the game doesn't expect you to hunt down the quest that we're about to do. You're supposed to just go back to town, talk to everybody, and then when you exhaust everything, then you start checking other locations. But we're going to go to a very specific spot. Oh, never mind, I was in the bottom right, I missed it. We're actually going to head back to the Olken Mines. Yeah, yeah, Windows update, go away. The Earth teaches us all of the cosmos and all of its ancient memories. The grass sprouts and stones sing. Light shines on the Earth. The light sparkles on the feathers of the birds of paradise. Oh no. Chad, what are the odds that we were making a joke about Stranger Paradise and someone says paradise within like the two minutes of it? Break loose from the shackles of time. Know what freedom is. We'll heal the dream teller. Who's there? I guess you're not with the demon. I'm looking for Erwin. 
He not only has the demon's blood in him, his thoughts and actions, everything about him is demonic. I've got, to, I've got to do something before it's too late. So yeah, so leaving the quest here is basically a game over on this event. So let's not fail this event. Eventually, he will bring cata catastrophe to this world. Matilda, you're such a fool. He tricked you into leaving the temple. We're seeing Kid Escad, I think. Let's follow him for a little bit. Just send us to our destination. That's basically what it does. This way. I... I can't... breathe. I see gas spewing out here. It must be tough for you and Eska. I wonder if the mine entrance is still holding up. I don't know. Let's rest a little further before we go further. Sulfur acquired. Let's go to the right. Yeah, otherwise, we have to kind of go through a lot of meaningless places. We're basically going straight to the plot. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, you might be fun to fight. Come here, Yeti. You're a Yeti, right? Oh, no. Excuse me. You're Narcissos and Mulder, of course. I love that even if I forget to cancel, if I do the regular thrust, I can cancel it into an uppercut. Like, that is definitely an intended cancel of the game. I think we have to go bottom right now. Should be a range. Perfect. Reminds me, I don't think I equipped spin, right? Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure we have enough crouch. Let's make sure we have enough spin. Yeah, I just wish the spear didn't have the close range twirl. It otherwise has, like, beautiful range for both. It's just that one move afterwards is super bad. Oh, I got mini me. Sadly, I do have to pick up the candy even though it's useless. Yeah, I guess I should have been tracking whether or not we would get an item. I believe we should basically be there. Feel little. Oh, you should feel a little better here. I wonder why Escat hates you so much. Just because you're a demon? Triple exclamation mark. What happened? I hope that wasn't the entrance. That was the mine entrance. This was just too old. This really was fun at the beginning. It was the first time I ever left the temple by my own will. But I can't take it anymore. It's frightening me. You're protected by the spirits that also protected your ancestors. Even if I die here, you will survive. I won't become the priestess, because priestesses aren't allowed to be friends with demons. I'm not your friend. I just want to eat you up like all demons do. You're lying. I... I want to go to the underworld. Adults are always telling us what to do. Hmm. I don't like this darkness. Summon your spirit. We'll tell us how we can save ourselves. I don't want to go back. You gotta live. You hate this world so much, I will destroy it. We should have the freedom to use our power in any way we want. 
Your powers are mine now, spirit. Matilda! You demon! What did you do to Matilda? Well, at least we have context about the sealing of powers. That was kind of mutual-ish. I guess you've re regained consciousness, Trey. Whose side are you on? Are you with me, fighting for justice? Or Diana, aiding demons and making mankind your enemy? Uh, I think we just choose Diana. <laughs> Extra fight time. So be it. Accept the path you've chosen. Optional boss. Look how aggressive he is. Get away from me. <laughs> well, we have, uh... We're proving the weapon triangle and fire emblem is real. <laughs> Go ahead, do your little stupid attack. I don't care. Oh, he's still lucky I couldn't use the meter. Oh, his uppercut is kind of brutal, though. That's like a crit animation for him. That's the only one I don't want to see. Yeah, there we go. I wish the Chocobo would actually attack, though. Chocobo, please. Thank you. Hold still, regen some HP. Punish him. Good damage. Or sword lock unit, exactly. Oh, we had it going for a little bit. You better pray to your sword god. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I did not mean to press that button. I just put the controller down at the worst time. It was unfortunate. I think we're still fine, though. He's not doing a ton of damage, because we're avoiding his super. And we're just straight up bullying him. Okay, the dream teller, the end. See, we, we kind of messed him up bad, chat. I thought made him a lot image of my love. Good luck. Thank you, Kalvisha. I'm sorry you're having issues. Yeah, that was straight that was straight range harassment. <laughs> he he got his like sword crit animation on me once, and it was GG. He's so lucky I accidentally hit the back trigger putting the controller down. Because I was resting it on my leg, more specifically. Oh, well. Twirly twirly music box. Wow, this I can't believe we're doing this many fairy art quests in a row. I want you to know, this quest is normally so disjointed when I play this off stream. I, I never get the ones back to back. I get like the most nonsense quests in between. Like, I, I think for this one, I started it in, like, the first 15 events and didn't finish until the final 10. Like, that's how disjointed it was for me. This one, we're getting, like, six in a row. Wow, crazy. Well, I guess we'll just keep advancing the fairy arc plot. I don't think I need anything special. We're gonna go back to the Gato Grottos. So now I think... This is the one that matters? Let me confirm. Yeah. Okay, so whoever... Whatever we do here... Whatever we do here is a... A, a point of no return, so I'm gonna make sure we saved. So chat will basically be choosing who makes it to the end of the game, in a, in a loose sense. I'm assuming we're gonna side with Diana. I kinda just don't like Escad. I'm sorry, Escad. I don't think I've ever picked a playthrough where you've lived, or did anything meaningful after this quest. <laughs> I think I bad end him every time, chat. It's so bad. But anyway, let's go make our first major plot decision. 
over the, these two characters. I think it wants you to basically side with Diana. I would imagine that's the canon one. Oh, I guess we'll go closest to canon, question mark. So let's go back to the Gato Grottos. Diana's back. So yeah, we we can really we can really mess with both of them if we want to. I'd prefer not to go for the ultimate bad end. We'll go for I guess the good end? Question mark. At least to their little arc. I mean, I don't mean the overall game ending. I almost got baited by that door again, Chad. You've no idea. My instinct to run into it to go up here is intense. Diana has returned. Please go in. Star Cross Lovers. Fairy Quest Arc continues. We should go, Matilda. What? Where are we going? To the Mendus Ruins for now. You can rest a bit there. Then you could go to the Land of Fairies. The flow of time is different there. Once you get there, you could prolong your life. Did you see Erwin? Dot 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 dot. Yes, I did. Did he say anything? Dot dot dot. You have to see him, Matilda. He, not Escat, is the only one who can save you. And you're the only one who can stop Erwin. I <laughs> looked. The Chocobo just checking for greens as we get threatened with the sword. Has the demon taken you, Diana? I will finish off Erwin. Your job is finished! Oh, Escat, don't say that. Please stay by my side, Diana. Damn, cut down. The wound is shallow enough. Think this over. You demon! What you said about learning from a wisdom was a lie. Say whatever you want to say. Sino, Tanami, Tamea, I saw Ayaknemi. Matilda, you're not strong enough to cast spells. Where did she go? Yeah, I imagine, like, you're supposed to side with the person that almost got cut down. That's why I think that's the canon ending of this arc, anyway. Dot, 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 dot. Oh. Triple exclamation marks. Don't go. Erwin, you're alive. I never gave up hoping that you survived. Matilda, you haven't changed at all. Don't be silly, Erwin. Look at me. Become a wrinkly grandma the past 10 years. Your appearance has changed. I have also become quite pessimistic too. But I did not know that demons aged. Look at you. The land of fairy strongly reflects one's thoughts. You could form your own appearance by imagining it. Is that why you want to take me to the land of fairies? That is one of the reasons. Fairies will not accept me. I have the power to make them accept whatever I say. You accept things without question, like the rule of heartless humans. Matilda, why do you exist in this world? Your life is not about walking the path others make. I know what you're trying to say, Erwin, but we do not always have a choice. You could say sometimes that's up to the player. Dot, dot, dots. The only choice I have is to be free. Hmm. I won't let you interfere. And teleported.
Though we're now back in the stone structure we were before with Tipo. Let's go outside and get our bearings. Let's see how much I remember of this area. Oh, wow, that's such a good combo. Nothing but jabs. Button meat, not worth it. Wiggles, because we're going in a straight line. Hello, succubus. Don't mind me, just building meter. gonna say there's something off screen that I missed so if we don't get it after this I'm gonna substitute lunge out for spin I have no idea how I dodged that but I'm not gonna question that healing claw that seems counterintuitive so I believe we got to go to the left so we have to go to the Tower of Wind which I think is this way or Temple of the Winds that we just saw talk to you. I'm connected with them. So unfortunately, we have more puzzles to do. Uh, I think we made a less than sign. That's how we got through here last time. I probably should not have cleared out my notes from before. Yes, that looks correct. Glory section. And what's kind of neat, we talked to Niccolo here. Hello there. The wondering Niccolo, peddler smiles. You look worried. It's me to hurry, but you're lost. You're in good hands now. <laughs> I'll guide you to the tower for only 500. Hell yeah, Chad, I'm paying that money. Try to how to make the most of your money. And now I don't ever have to remember how to get there, because I did that the first time I played this game. We're here. How do we get here? I have no idea, Chad. But I'm not going through that maze. There's like 20 or so screens to this area. I I'm not gonna learn them. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm just like, you know what? I've been here a couple times. I know I could just pay to get here. What's our money total looking like? 3,600, that's fine. Now we have a decision to make. You have become a demon like him, Diana. How foolish you are. There's no difference between any of us. Watch from afar. I love that's an option. No, we should join Diana on this one. I think if we don't choose either, they both die, I think. Anyway, let's get this fight over with. How do you moonsault me? The moment he does super, I'm gonna punish with my own super. Got him. Whoop. Wish I had a better stuff. Oh wait, hold on. This might work. Oh, the wombo? The wombo combo? Hell yeah. That was a good combo on him. Got him. Checkmate. Unfortunately, she stopped fighting him. Okay, single jabs. He can block out of this, but I should outspeed him. This is the true power of the spear. Yeah, you better... You know what? Got him. Checkmate. No dodging. You like the shovel technique being used? Hell yeah. He got bodied, chat. That was a very convincing rematch. He didn't do anything to me. Matilda! Diana. Where's Erwin? You need to get to the land of fairies. Not going. What? But why? Where did Erwin go? Thank you for being so concerned about me, Diana. But seeing Erwin was good enough. I feel much better. No, that's not good enough. Tell me the truth! You're in love with Erwin, aren't you, Matilda? Yes, I am. Then go to the Land of Fairies with him! Don't die like this! Erwin will go and bring catastrophe without you! Diana, Erwin and I do not intrude upon each other's freedom. If he just decides to destroy this world, I will gladly accept it. Damn, chat. So much for this world. Then what about all the others who will die? 
They will lose their lives along with their freedom. Then, believe in me and believe in yourself. You cannot hide the truth or the future. One must do what one believes in. That is the only way. Matilda, I only want you two to be happy in the land of fairies. Why can't you understand that? Do not worry. I know what brings me happiness. Diana, do whatever makes you happy. My happiness is making others happy. Is that so wrong an idea? If I think the same way as you do, we will never be happy. Dot 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 dot. So, what's Erwin gonna do now? He said he's going to try to destroy this world. Destroy the world? Oh, come on, Erwin! The goddess created all life. Her will is all. Well, I shall now return to Gato. So this is what the mana go goddess has decided? Oh, Matilda! Well, I guess she's okay with the world ending, right, chat? Damn. Starcross lovers, the end. So that is the last we are going to see of Escad. I believe we have now canonically killed him with our choice. Rip Escad. Is this dream to destroy the world or are we to stop him? I mean, we're we're rebuilding the world. We we can fight him out of annoyance of not wanting to redo the color blocks. We're like, no. Oh, Diana was following us this whole time, I just noticed. Well, hope I see you again. Yeah, like the game definitely wants you to bring those NPCs to like other quests. But the problem is like you can never bring them into the house, which is really awkward. I wish if they did a remake of this game, they got rid of that. And just let you keep those party members. Not good destroy, chat. That's one of those things I never fully understood why they did that. Like, are they worried that they wouldn't be able to trigger plot triggers? And they could just have them wait outside the house. And then if you don't collect them, then they go back. I would have been okay with that. Because there are characters you do need to interact with. Speaking of which... I remember dodging Niccolo and Lumina. It's now time to go back to talk to him again. I remember specifically talking about wanting to not speak to him or else I trigger something out of order. Now we're past that point, fortunately. Okay, we're putting down the bare minimum number of artifacts. Oh no, it's Badong. Man, I haven't watched that movie in so long. I, I guess we could say we trained Eskad wrong as a joke. Go back to Lumina. I believe it's Kung Pao Enter the Fist, correct? With Betty. Okay, so we gotta go back to the shopping district. I do love that movie. That movie is so dumb. I haven't watched it in a while. Maybe I'll go rewatch it after the stream. I do miss that movie. Between the very silly meta, we are the ventriloquists, and all the other nonsense that happens on the screen, quite something. Yeah, were there any interesting items worth buying yet, or no? Oh, well, I could get crystals, but let's not worry about that right now. Well, so we meet again. I'm gonna go to the Midas Ruins. About a rumor. Oh, heard a rumor about a psychokinetic flowerling in the ruins. I have to go see him. I implore you to reconsider, that's true. Let's go. Yes. Of course it's not real, we have to go prove that. Well, anyway, we're gonna let the fairy arc resolve sometime later. But we are cruising through the events right now. We cleared, like, what, four in a row? We're, we're gonna get through, like, another eight or so, if I had to guess.
And this time we're just gonna go back to the, the Midas Ruins, which is funny because we just saw him there according to what we did earlier. Whatever. Chad, we're in this quest. This one took me a while the first time I played it. Let's see how much I remember from the first time we were here. As I said before, we're just getting the general uses of both of our skills up. So if we do not receive it by the end, I'm gonna swap out a skill. We have lunge and spin currently. We got a couple in crouch. So we're gonna do, let's say one. Chat will help me keep track. So we're at one. I wanna figure out how many encounters I'm at by the end, because we need about 16 and 18. So if we don't see it by the time we get to the end, I'm assuming that we missed something. I believe I gotta go to the left here. Now we're at the, oh, that's how you get to the Tower of the Winds. Interesting. Never mind, it's not where I thought it was. Good thing I didn't have to remember that. We should be at the flower and location, unless I did this wrong. Okay, we are. I believe I need to flip flop them according to my older notes. I have the flowering puzzle thing here because I got tired of figuring out which ones open what gates. So that I have in front of me. Be able to cross through here now. It's three. I think we have. I think we had about eight uses before, maybe ten. Lower left, and we gotta go lower left. But moving the other people here save me some time. left, and we should be at the place we need to go to. Psychokinesis is wonderful. Here he is. We'll be rich if we can catch him and put him on display. Away he goes. Super Psychokinesis! He ran away. I knew he was a fake. Get me out of here. So, uh, I think we just gotta keep going further in the dungeon. So we're looking for the next set of flowerlings, because I know there's gonna be a gate we can't deal with. There should be four. Again, it could take a while to get the final abilities due to that. gotta flip his direction. Unfortunately, there's only one to really worry about. Let's go backtrack to the gates. So now we should be able to make progress. I remember this taking me a long time when I first played. I'm not gonna lie, chat. Some of it is just the hard memory of needing to backtrack in these rooms over and over again. I think that's five. If I count to 12, I think I missed it. But right now, we're still fine. Okay, so, we now opened up basically the door that was here before. And we just need to move one of them. So fortunately, there's not really a puzzle here. There's only one of them. Okay, so it's, it's a little right. Elliptic structure. Uh, maybe I go bottom left here? I think so. I think I gotta redo one of them. I, I 
find myself questioning this, because this is the big maze. Hopefully this is the flower. Okay, it is the flower fling room. Good. Flip it. Okay, that that actually went fine. I somewhat remembered where to go, fortunately. But we're at six. If we count to twelve, I think I messed up. And I gotta get the other skill in there. But that's fine, because that means we should learn the other ones really quickly by comparison. If we end up using another weapon, we could just master all of it. That is kind of the weird conundrum of the game. If you want to learn all the techniques, you gotta swap pretty often. So there's some moves we'll just unlock nearly instantly because I've been using them for a while. Um, upper right? Oh boy, I don't think I went the right way. No, I did something wrong. Um, hmm. Brain is thinking. This isn't it. I'm gonna I'm gonna double check the map later. Nice kill. I actually want some seeds from this. That's seven, I think. I did not cancel that successfully. I believe that's eight. I mean I don't mind just racking up the kills and nothing else here. Okay. Whew. I was only off by one room. That was that, that was a good recovery. Finally, the exit. I was so worried. Flowering couldn't use psychokinesis, so it ran away. What a thing. Nicolo's Business Unusual, part three. Oh, ew. I didn't realize his arms were part of his pedal thing. Ew, that's actually creepy. I thought it was part of his, like, torso or, like, the stem of the flower. Ew. Imagine having, like, a lion's mane having hands out of it. That's basically what that reminds me of. Disgusting. That's not what I meant to do. Let's go back here. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we're finally going to place a new relic after this. We've, we've been holding off on them for so long. Honestly, I thought we were going to go complete one of the other quests first. I remember farming in this area repeatedly for XP. Those were the days. Sickle Kinesis, the cactus said. We used to make a handy joke. Mm -hmm. Let's see, now I just need to confirm where it wants me to put this. So, we've been holding on to the Sand Rose forever. Ah, okay, I see where it needs to go. We'll still do a safety save, because remember, chat, the thing I'm worried about most is not dying in combat, which did happen once, technically. It's, uh, <laughs> placing the wrong relic. <laughs> I'd rather game over and retry. There is no game over if I do it this way. Oh, man. So yeah, I, again, like, this is this is such a bizarre order. I really want to know how long it took for somebody to come up with this particular order that we're about to see. It's, the way we're stacking the buildings is actual insanity. Ooh, bumpkins. I guess I could just grow more produce. I do technically need produce if I want to create, like, the super helmet. So we got some clear feathers before. I'm contemplating if I want to use crafting to make, like, 20,000. Because I believe we now have enough ingredients for it. Right now, there's nothing I want to purchase. There's not anything I want to purchase, but we should be coming up to another chance to do so soonish. Uh, I'll do two big seeds together. And I think what I'll do is I'll mix a... I like having one of each. 
do a small seed and a long seed. No, never mind then. Disregard. Big big seed took up too many slots. Not worth. Um, hmm. Do I feed the pet? I guess. I might want to make it more aggressive. Also, I feel kind of bad we haven't been collecting new pets. We'll, we'll do that in a little bit, I think. Maybe at the start of the next session. Right now, I think we're on a roll. I don't know if I want to stop it. But before the end of the game, I do want to get one of the other ones. So, like, Bumpkin is really good because it gives power and spirit. But I need something to make it less lazy. Let's see what options we have in here. Okay. Double Bumpkin is fine. Because this is just free damage for the pad. So basically, I just need to figure out what removes it. Uh, citrus squid get rid of it? I know we were doing something before to get rid of it. I'm just trying to remember. I can make it more scheming, but I don't really want to do that. The mysteries of the produce chat. I mean, if, if I had Dice Fairy, that's the one I usually feed it because it's just power plus aggression. Each puppy is also good, but it makes it more friendly. I guess that's okay. As long as something wins in the end, I guess I'm okay with that. It loses a little bit of scheming personality, but I think this is probably fine. Right, I think we were at eight. Chat can correct me if I'm wrong with number of times we used the skill. All right, so we're finally gonna place the sand, oh, excuse me, it's not desert rose, it's sand rose. So, next to Lake Hilma, I believe, is where it needs to go. One space over, so we leave yet another gap. We're gonna go ahead and place it here. Remember, there were axe beaks here. Despite not having played this game in a while, there are some enemies I remember being kind of iconic. Let's go to the Duma Desert. Look at us walking around in the slowest way possible. Love it. It'll be better once we finally fill in those spaces, but that won't be for a while. So we should be unlocking the last main mechanic of the game after this. How horrifying! This is too much of a shock. I can't believe this. My ancient spellbook was stolen! I'm hungry. What should we do now? Huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Is there a problem, ma'am? Someone bothering you, ma'am? Shall we shall we catch him, ma'am? Let's get him! Charge! Cut it out. Stop it now. Oh, Miss Katninja. Ninja? Katninja. This person's not with me. Methina. Methian? Ooh. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever tried saying that word out loud before. Imagine it's like Mephisto, but it's like Mephianese? Maybe? Mephian say? Hmm. I'll think about that. Stop clobbering everyone you see. Yikes. Please don't glare at us. We don't want to explode. Huh. You don't have what it takes. Maybe it's like mayonnaise? Maybe. We're looking for a guy named, we'll call him Mayonnaise for Dango. He stole an ancient spellbook from the school's library. He gathered his students and came here to try out some of the magic. I'm gonna retrieve the book, but the desert is too large. I don't know what to do. Let's say, offer help. Hey, thanks. We'll find him sooner if we cooperate. I'm Kathinja, a professor at the Academy of Magic. 
reach for the stars. We'll keep track of each other with the students as the messengers. Oh, and watch out. His students will give you false info. All right, let's go. Yeah. Don't leave me. I believe, as I said before, that we're at eight. We're gonna count to about 12 and see how it goes. We talk to this person, and Miss Kathinch is over here, so you look over there. He's lying! She didn't go that way! You are the liar. She did come this way to search. No, that's not right. She came this way. Liar, liar, liar! Am not, am not, am not! You're on Mr. Mayonnaise's side, aren't you? I'm talking about yourself. Have a taste of this! How about that? Intense student action. So anyway, we know green was not one of the colors that was there, so we could just go this way. Battle time. These things are called Skull Beasts. Checks out. Oh man, they're only level 11. Jeez. We're so overpowered for this. I think we're at like level 17 or something. I haven't looked in a while. Yeah, have a taste of mayonnaise, exactly. Oh, we're 17. Yeah, we're hilariously almost double level. Um... Oh well, we'll just keep exploring. Can't go that way. These guys could potentially give me an equipment upgrade at some point. We'll see though. There we go. If I fail the cancel, I might as well suffer cut. Maybe we just got the soldier helmet? There's a couple of rare items they can eventually give, some of it based off the area we're in. Wow, chat. Do you feel the call out, chat? Did you feel in my heart I knew what that was called? I felt it in my heart, chat. Like, the reason I like this item and why I remember it, it gives four to strength. <laughs> like, I'll be real with you. It makes us a little weaker, though, in terms of defense. But kind of worth it? That was ten? Or was that nine? Might have been ten. Oh, excuse me. It doesn't give strength. It gives HP. Uh, never mind. Not what I thought it raised. I don't think I really care about HP. We also got Destiny Dice, which gives a lot of luck up in case I want to find items. But it makes me weaker if I really want to wear that. Hmm. Why do I feel like I went the wrong way? Oh no, we're fine. I was gonna say, we haven't seen students in a while. You can't go through here! Turn around and go back! Go through. You're gonna regret it, youngin! Behold and witness the great powers of the Twin Towers! Oh no. Oof. Take this, 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 and that, and that, and that! You just walk around them. Hey, you guys! You care, take care of Miss Kathinja's pets? Yes, sir! You made them go this way! That's the right way, you dimwits! Ah, oh, well. Next time, you stop them any way you can, okay? Yes, sir! I was getting worried, but I, I think we ended up on the right track. GG. They do drop items I can sell. I remember fighting these a lot as well. Their XP can be very silly. 
Which is why I like to fight them, because they just give way more XP per kill than other enemies do. Also, I love that Chocobo's health has eclipsed us completely. We're getting lapped in HP. Only 150 XP. Let's say no, we're overleveled. I think it's up, right? Yeah, it has to be. The road is closed. Take another road. Turn back already. Go through. You're gonna force yourself through here, huh? Let's get him! Yeah. Anyway, this one is just walk around them. <laughs> just... They, they tried, I guess. They tried. Oh, that wiggle, though. Hey, wait for me. Ooh, I made it. Mayonnaise is sorcery equals two sorcerers' magic. Better check your equipment before you go. Warning, you're about to fight a boss. You should probably be careful here. We have lunge and spin. So we're gonna go for a little more. But in order to unlock triple supremacy, we need 18 spin, 18 lunge. We did a decent amount of crouch, but maybe not 16's worth. Oh, we have to talk to her again to continue. Are you ready? Ready. Alright, let's go. I forget how many spear use we need, but there's no way we don't already qualify. Mayonnaise! So, it's you, Kavinja. Stop whatever you're doing and return the spell book. Oh, that book? I discarded it. What? What a useful book, I'd say. Memorized everything in it. Not a spell that creates a star. My finger points, exactly. A machinery. You're gonna use it to create a star? That's not all. I tend to make the stars move as I wish. No, you're not going to. That's right. I'm gonna destroy Earth by making all the stars fall. And we'll let it happen. Nothing can stop me now. Talk to the hand. Hey, chat, you ready for the big bad boss? Whoa! Here we go, chat. The boss. It's just Axe Beak. I remember being disappointed then. I'm disappointed now. Oh, those cancels, though. Oh! Holy. Look how much health the Axe Beak has. I'm not used to play placing this, this late. Look, we haven't even hit yellow yet. There we go. Holy. We're in like Yakuza health bars. What was that? Anyway, GG. There we go. I used spin to stun the enemy. I did a chat. Oh, I didn't cancel properly. Yeah, you can chain uppercuts repeatedly. That doesn't require any gimmicks. If I do the normal thrust, I have to cancel it with uppercut immediately or do the other cancel by using a skill slot I don't have equipped. But I can do that, for example, without doing any crazy cancels. You know what? You schools play on you. GG. Goodbye. Played. I think that was 10. Hey, are you alright? You blew me out of the desert. We gotta catch up. Oh, probably in a couple more I'll swap out so we get more crouch usage. And now, the greatest show of all time. No! Ready for the stars, chat? He's mastered the magic of fireworks.
Dot dot dot. Um. Okay, I guess that was pretty cool. Here, take this. Got this out gold. Done. Reach for the stars. I guess I'll leave spin on because I need 24 uses to spin at some point. Excuse me, 26 uses to spin later on. Even if I overdo the spin, we'll get rid of lunge once we get to 18. I don't think I need lunge anywhere else in my other moves, no. Oh, I need 22 lunge technically. Okay, so let's count it up to 18 because then it should put us to 22 lunge. That should save us some time. I already used Moonsault quite a bit. Oh, maybe that's why I had it. Maybe I was trying to unlock something for later. Because I do need it for lo and behold. Probably what I did. I just forgot that I went through that reasoning before. In a little bit. Let's go hand this quest in. Fireworks. Okay, so finally, now that we've seen that event, we've unlocked the final thing that we could do in the dungeons, which usually requires us to revisit. You might notice all the buildings are now complete. Hi, this fill a shop for making instruments that play music. Up on the stairs on the right, this week's assignment is building an environment to make instruments yourself. So I build a shop right here. My assignment will be done once I get an elemental coin. Can you help me? We'll say yes. The final thing, Janet Instruments 101. The downside of unlocking this is it makes collecting monsters a bit more annoying. Yeah, I'm waiting to get past a certain quest where I need a low number of, it, of pets, then I want to go on a pet collecting spree just because. All right, thanks. Get elemental points by playing music to the elemental spirits. I only give you one if they like your song. Come on, let's go look for a spirit. This is the mechanic I use the least in the game, I'm not going to lie to you. Even less than golems. Wow, an elemental spirit. Never seen one here, ever. They come to places like this where there... Oh, they never come to places like this where there's so many people. We're so lucky. Let's try to get a coin. Here, use this instrument. Gust marimba. So there's not really, like, magic in the traditional sense. Instead, you're expected to craft instruments, which each contain a spell. And you can charge the spell up by holding in the button and releasing it basically determines its range and sometimes damage, I think. But uh, yeah, don't expect me to basically use this mechanic ever. It's not worth our time. Try playing a song you like. If the spirit likes it, it will come over here. If it doesn't like it, then it will disappear right away. You try to pull it closer and try talking to it. If it succeed, you'll get an elemental coin. Uh, we'll do a happy song. Sure. Play the main part. Actually, the more instruments you use, the better chance the spirit will come closer. Play should use as many as possible, but right now, one is fine. Start flying. Okay. Jammin' good. The spirit likes it too. Find the right instrument, right time to put away your instrument and talk to the spirit. I just assumed because Lumina was kind of bright magic, I just went for happy music. I'm not sure if it's possible to fail this event. I wish the one on the left would get closer. Where it's just not going to. Cool. Now, talk to it before it disappears. Receive some coins. With silver. With silver. We do need this for crafting ultimate items in the game, but I don't intend to do it for the most part. Wow. Well, all right. That's how you get a coin. Actually, it's a first for me, too. Just did it the way I was taught. All right, then. Got your coins. Let's go back to the room I made. Phew. Well, I'm done with my assignment now. Now you can make enchanted instruments. Have fun. Anything you want to ask me about? No. See ya. <laughs> Right, chat? I don't intend on doing this. Oh, yeah, can I have two of the Whist Silvers? 
I'll trade you these coins I got from my friends. That aura silver. Salva silver. Menos bronze. The worst material, thanks. Again, I think you're supposed to have gotten this like three hours ago, but a power seven instrument is pathetic at this point. Like our base weapon is power 23 comparatively, just to give you an idea how bad it is and where we received this in the game. Wow, believe it or not, we're going to go right into yet another artifact. That's a bit unexpected. I guess we just got that out of the way because technically things can interrupt the instrument quest. So good that we did that now, I guess. It is a quote-unquote missable event. Instruments finished. Oh, nice. We're going into a nice little maze after this. Love mazes, chat. They're my favorite. So, hopefully I was at about 10. Chat can correct me if I'm wrong with my battle count. I'm gonna go to, let's say, 18. If I'm really not sure, I could bring in more than that, but I'm pretty sure I did four lunge this session already. So, even if... Yeah, in fact, I already have lunch now, so... Yeah, that, that should be fine. I should have over 22. My goal is to be at over 22. Then I just have to equip Crouch for a very long time. Alright, okay, so... On the overworld, we're going to place... Our Trembling Spoon, which we've had for a while now, because we haven't received any new relics, funny enough. So we were at the jungle before. The jungle is number 12, and then above it, we're going to place a Trembling Spoon. I'm not sure what this has to do with the location that we spawned, but that's fine. Anyway, chat, uh, welcome to hell. Let's go to the underworld. <laughs> you know, as you do. But we're gonna meet one of the other characters that was mentioned earlier, which I think the game thought we would have seen before we did the Matilda quest. That's fine. Stones. Macabre? Just macabre itself. Warrior, shall test your strength. Fallen Emperor. So we're in another plot arc. I guess we'll call it the Dragon Arc. That's a dragon. Have you awakened? I am Locke, Dragoon of Dracotis. Dra what? Or what happened? We're gonna say what happened. I brought you down into the underworld because I thought you were a powerful warrior. You want to know more? You should come down below with me. <laughs> I love when you just say forget it. We'll say all right. You shall descend into the depths. Go at your own pace and I shall follow. Translation, I don't feel like guiding you. You're on your own. This area kind of sucks. Where's Shadal's? I knew we did. Watch out for that guy. <laughs> How reassuring. I kind of wish the underworld got its own music. I found that kind of disappointing playing this game. I mean, we're basically in hell. It's using kind of a whimsical one. I do love that we just legitimately went to hell too. Like, not an exaggeration. Like, we are there. Basically, we just have to look for... I think his name is Olbon. Right, I think he's left. Hmm. Suppose we better go see Olbon. I think he's to the right? And as you can see, this place is kind of big. 
Like, we pass by several split passageways. We go on if you wish, but all the doors around here are closed. Just report to Alban first, so she will be able to get around. Alban's chambers are near here. He's a wisdom, the manager of departed souls. Keeps the dead from getting out of hand. So we have to go see him, and he should be here. I never understood what he was, chat. Is he like a pumpkin with rotating flowers? Are they hands? I'd never understood, chat. I am Olba, keeper of the underworld. Yeah, maybe onion, that would make sense. But like, what's the thing rotating around him? Lar, Dragoon of Draconis. He dot dot dots. Why do you bother me bringing this person down here? He's pretty handy. There we go, Dago. As a Dragoon, I must follow the will of my master. But this time, you brought quite a lively one. So will Draconis' evil plan succeed now? I'd love to help you out if you had a nice spot for me. If you really mean it, then get permission to perform the Baptism of Flames. But if those words were meant to insult my master, then mind you. Permission granted. Receive the Baptism of Flames. The Shadol will guide you. We're gonna have to know how to get back here later, by the way, chat. Underworld's a fast place. I can help you around. Where to? <laughs> Nowhere. We'll save the baptismal chamber. Once the baptism is done, closed doors will open. Ask the Shadol's there to perform the baptism. Here we go. Hey, newly dead. Watch out for that guy. Hey, you said the same thing as the other person. Where's Shadol's? What's on your mind? We have permission. Form the baptism of flame. You love the faces. Here you, <laughs> here you go, Daddy O. There you go, Chad. Now you can go to the bottom levels. Let's go. Our master awaits. And again, we're using a lot of teleports to avoid this nonsense. Otherwise, we would be in big trouble. Now we're just going through... And this door, I think, is now the one that we want to go into. As I said before, it's very easy to get lost here. Fortunately, we haven't encountered the one-way rooms yet. I'm very scared if we stumble across those. I know they exist in this game. They make me sad every time it happens. What level are they? 21? Oh, okay. So we're actually getting out-leveled here. I'm stunned. That's not good. Oh, let me get out of that. Yeah, the dolls, unfortunately, just give money, and I don't really care about money. Money does not matter in this game for the most part. You can either just make better equipment or find stuff from normal enemy encounters. Nice level up. I love how he got 7, got 119, I got 7, I got 28. How low level is he? Oh, he's our level now. Attack plus dragons, more damage to dragon monsters. Kind of ironic, given that he's a, uh, dragoon. He does have ridiculously good strike, though. I'm not gonna lie, chat. I'm kind of jealous of his one-handed axe. These birds of prey, which you've seen before, cutting pine, boulder dash, which is super good. It, chat, it even has extreme damage. Man, he's got such good skills, chat. It's it's so good. I remember people, would, when I had people at my house, they would fight to play as this character. He does so much damage to bosses, it's kind of gross. And Whirl is really good, honestly. They just all around, what a great character. By Shadow Zeros. Oh, I got blocked by the wall. That's sad. That should have been a lot better than it was. Oh, Chocobo's going in. That's what I want to see. So we made him more aggressive. Seems to be paying off. He's actually attacking now. There's a low percent chance we might get items from the night. Now we shall see if you're worthy enough to serve my master. Are you ready? Sure. That was like 13, I think. 
we'll go a little more. Then we'll put Crouch on permanently. Then we'll put Lunge Crouch on. I love the faces here. Too bad that's not what we're fighting. Not yet, anyway. There we go, he's mumbling. Poor Chocobo. Oh, Ch Chocobo made me miss! Oh, Birds of Prey is such a nice ability. Yeah, the, the one-handed and two-handed weapons get some pretty ridiculous uh, specials. Spear never gets anything too crazy, sadly. But we also have range. So we could do without as we will. I think our companions are gonna die soon if I had to guess. No, he's trying to get out of my infinite. It's kind of working. There we go. Ooh, oh, Lark, no, don't, don't combo break me. I was in the infinite. Stop combo breaking me. Stop that. That's rude. Stop that. Don't, don't let him teleport. There we go. Finished him. AI's trolling me, chat. Let me enjoy my infinite. Leveled up the Chocobo on ourselves. 215 to everybody, nice. Incredible. My master will be most pleased. Away we go. Prepare yourself for my master comes. Lord Draconis. So you finally found one, Lark. One who can defeat Hitodama. Yes, my lord. Not the pleasantry's great warrior. My name is Draconis. I summoned you for a reason. I want you to return the magical power stolen from me by three dragons. Uh... Let's ask why. It's Toad from Mario, kind of. Long ago on the surface, I was once the Emperor of Dragons. The three jealous dragons stole my powers. Made to wander the underworld in this weakened form. Waited the coming of one who could defeat the three dragons in my stead. So, what my master wants is for you to defeat the three dragons. Either way, you must cooperate. As if we leave you as a half spirit, you'll eventually turn into nothingness. I cannot stand letting so strong a warrior fade away. If you defeat the three dragons, I'll return you to your previous form. I love I can reject the offer. I'll accept. I'm indebted to you, strong warrior. My master told me to give you this as proof of our contract. We've got another artifact, the Skull Lantern. Prepare yourself. We're off to hunt the dragons of knowledge. If they think they protect order in the world, but we do not need their domination. If you do not like what I'm doing, you're free to do as you will. But do not forget, this is an opportunity to test your powers. How ominous. The Fallen Emperor, the end. Well, anyway, we're about to go ignore that, <laughs> just by the way. <laughs> we're like, ah, slay dragons. We don't need that. We'll do that right now. It's not important. Let's go this way. So we're coming up to another event that we can also fail by talking to the wrong person. So we're definitely going to make sure to save before we get here. So now that we have the Underworld unlocked, we'll be able to continue with uh, Diddle and Capella's arc. They are kind of reoccurring side characters. Bye, Lark. I cannot escape your destiny. But I think if we just go back to the Underground, we could just recruit him here. So technically, if we just wanted to use him in, like, every quest in the game, we can. He's really good. There's only a couple characters that I think are better than him. But honestly, his extreme damage special is just so unfair. And even his damage isn't that low. 35's high. Like, 35 is still way better than what we're using. 
he's kind of the main character for a while, I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to damage. So we're just here to stun lock, he could do DPS. Sadly though, the AI will use Whirl when the enemy's already stunned, which is not useful. Unfortunate. Hmm, anything else I want to do? This will go a little further. In curiosity, how many events have we cleared? We're at 30 events. Wow, so we did 6 already. Let's go for at least another 10. Some of these are definitely longer than others. Some are done in like 10 minutes. Some are like we have to go through the whole dungeons. Did we get some of the longer ones out of the way at least? So as I said before, now that the Underworld is unlocked, should it unlock the ability to continue the Diddle arc with the uh, Capella? Capella, the best juggler on earth. Go back in. Dot, dot, dot. Man, he's gone again. It'll had it. into him this time. Oh well, it's not my business. Now... This one's kind of more obscure. I think I have to go back to the house to advance the plot. and then just immediately exit without doing anything. Yeah, this series of quests I remember making me fail the event guide, so I, I do have a note on this quest not to do certain things, and I'm like, don't worry, I've seen it all. Go back to Lumina. Let's check on the two of them again. Oh, diddle. Why does he do this to me all the time? I know, I know. I'll go look for him. Uh-oh. The kidnapping chat. Diddle! Let's go chase after the Shadows, which we know are from the underworld, so at least at least from like a plot perspective we figured this out. So here's the deal, chat. This is one of the most annoying quests to me in the game. I'm gonna put this in my bottom five. You wanna know why, chat? We now have to explore the underworld. And if at any point we talk to a Shadol, we have to do the entire area over again. Man, I hated this quest. I hated this quest, chat. Diddle! It's more annoying than you think it is. 
Isabella. I can't go on. I've had it. Wait a minute. What do you mean you've had it? He's had it with life, pal. He's with us now. <laughs> I guess he'd rather die? I guess that was our takeaway from that conversation. He said, eh, don't feel like living. It goes to the underworld. Damn. That's commitment, chat. Let's take you to the underworld. Still here? Go straight to the bottom. Oh no, not the Chocobo too. So yeah, every time we get caught, I have to go through this again. We're now at the bottom of the underworld. Welcome to the underworld. The after failing to get PGF, oof. They say the dead come here, but it's meant for souls who still cling to life. As long as you're able to feel happiness and sorrow, you must avoid the Shadows. Shadows will try to drag you to the bottom of the underworld. Yeah, they're explaining the horrible gimmick of this quest. But anyway, we should not talk to him, or else we will teleport somewhere. And that will mess us up. But, uh, yeah, look at this BS. Just... don't know where to go. I guess we go left. Oh, we haven't fought you before. Chimera Beast. Yo, he just blocked it with his chest? Damn, he man moded me so hard. It's like, try harder. Didn't feel it. That's 14. See, every time we fail that, we're gonna have to fight that enemy. Nights might get some good items here, maybe. Just do rapid thrusts. There we go. Kind of hoping for an item versus XP from them. That's fine. So this is where I would not blame people for turning on encounter skip. Because fighting through these enemies every time you mess up is so tedious. Also, damn, I wasn't lined up. That sucked. Your kid dragon. Okay. I remember that from Trials of Mana. He had a violent explosion death. Jeez. That was 16. Okay, here's the garbage part, chat. The ones we saw teleport are still there, and if I bump into them, I gotta do the whole thing over again. Hold on, chat, I need to memorize this. Uh, I kinda know where they are, so I, I gotta go here. Into here? Oh! <laughs> right, <laughs> I just looked at that and I'm like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, where, where's the path? So it's like... Wait, where's the gap? Oh, is the gap in the bottom? Oh, that's horrible. Okay, so it's bottom... Oh, that's gross. So it's like here? Oh, that's gross, that's gross! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Get me out of here, welcome, Kirk. Oh, so apparently in Parameters of Star Destiny. I can't believe I first tried that. That room is the one that usually gets me, and I have to go all the way back to the beginning, and it's so tedious. I can't believe I first tried that. I double-checked the room, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm not memorizing that in one try. I hate it, indeed. Come on, Diddle. Let's go back to the sunny surface. No. Nothing is fun out there anyway. You're having fun, and people have fun watching you. But I don't. <laughs> You're sounding like a good shadow to be. I'm not always smiling because I'm having fun. And why do you always have a smile on your face? That's that's for me to decide. You just say things without thinking about anything. You got that one wrong, Diddle. Oh, stop. Why are you smiling again? Well, it's kind of funny. 
Nothing's funny. There's nothing good about life. Wow, chat. Legend of Mana took a dark turn. I don't remember this dialogue, I'll be real with you. I think Kid B tuned this out. You get hurt, have fights, and there are too many goodbyes. Or maybe I was still raging from teleporting. <laughs> it's possible that happened. Watching your shows doesn't make anything better, damn. And I don't like it when people laugh while you juggle. <laughs> I know. I understand it all, Diddle. Dot, 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 dot from Diddle. The world is full of boring and nasty things, but I still like living in this world. Come back up when I make the world a better place. So, take care until then. I'll be waiting for you up there. I don't think that's how the underworld works. Ha! Huh. You can't go back once you've... Once we've taken you in, exactly. You'll become a Shadal, and never return to human form. Capella, I won't turn into a Shadal. I will remain myself, so don't worry about me. <laughs> Did you hear that? He's not gonna turn into a Shadal. Yeah, right. Are we ever gonna have fun with him? Come on, Diddle. We'll look down on you. Even if you come after me now, I'll welcome you. Hey, Diddle! Let you know something. All you need to do is run. If you make it up there, then you're free from us. If you don't make it, then the monster's gonna gobble you up! Of course! No one has ever made it alive! Ah, yes, the mighty enemy of just the generic enemy. Oh, damn, he chucked me. Ooh, so he could grab me out of my loops. Hmm. That's actually kind of scary. Unless I do this. My cancels are on point. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, get wrecked. Hear me talking smack? Yeah, you did. Ooh, Chocobo messed me up slightly. Finish him. Cool to play. Game over. Nice level up. Destroyed chat. Oh, ill. That's what Diddle looks like? What happened to his little wheel body? What happened? He, like, deflated. Oh, look, Capella. Hey, welcome back. Diddle almost went back to get you. He should have trusted you like I do. <laughs> hey, Capella. Let's stay and watch the stars just a little longer. Okay. But just a little longer. How come? Because... I'd have to break the promise that I wouldn't smile, because I'm so happy. It's okay. You can smile. Stars spin as they fall, when you're trying to catch your breath. What's that supposed to mean? It's a secret. You're one strange guy. <laughs> anyway, so we avoided talking to Pokiol, or else we'd fail the quest. Maybe, if we selected the wrong option. And now we have to avoid going to a certain area, or else we will also fail the quest. So we're gonna go straight there. Do not, under any circumstances, go back to the main territory. So now we're gonna go clean up all the wisdom. So all of them should be unlocked. Technically, Selva requires us to talk to the other ones. I don't remember if we talked to Gaius in the previous sessions or not. Just chat remember. I might have done it. I don't remember. I know we definitely did Pokiol. I went out of my way to make sure I brought Bud for Pokiol. I don't remember if I talked to Gaius. I know I went back to him, but did I go back to him with Bud is the question. Gentle bees. 
I mean, the worst thing that happens is I get more ability usage here. The sadly chat, I just don't remember. So we're gonna safety go back to uh, Luan Highway. We're definitely gonna save. So we just need to make sure Bud is in our party from basically now until the end. I think Bud is actually okay when it comes as a playable character. The fact he is a two-handed weapon is pretty strong. It's just his specials are kind of whack and his magic score is kind of bad. Slash his instruments are kind of bad. The interaction between these two makes no sense. I think they're supposed to be buddy-buddy, but I mean like... I don't think I really internalized that basically the other person literally gave up on life and went to hell. I don't think that really set- I don't think that really hit me like it did on the replay here. Just a casual, nah, I'd rather die, it just descends to the depths. That is quite something. You know, just casual, just casual go to hell, you know. Well anyway, I think we're at 14. I, I probably miscounted. So let, let's count to 18. So we'll do two more fights, or four more fights here. Then I'm gonna get rid of Spin, I think? Because that way I guarantee that I have enough for it, and the rest will just be Crouch. And since I don't need Spin again... Oh no, I need Spin at 26. Never mind. Let's count to 22 just to be safe. Let's boink. And that should take us basically where we need to go. Our weapon is so weak, Chad. If we're not killing it like one hit, it's like such a beginning area. It's so sad. Take the money though. Another elder bow. Hopefully, I didn't go the wrong way. Find out in a moment. I did indeed go the wrong way. Oops. We'll go right at the fort. That should be 15. Which is not a bad thing, because we do, as I said before, we do need to make sure that I get... Yeah, see how Bud 2 shot? That's the difference in our weapons right now. Like, that was kind of intense how much stronger he is than us. Speaking of which, what weapon is, What power is this weapon? 43! Holy! Uh, I mean, his specials are terrible, but, um... Damn. Damn, chat, we got straight up at last. Yeah, I usually play two-handed weapon, uh, or two-handed sword, just because I do like the two-handed moveset. I think one-handed sword is technically the best. Sword OP. So if I go over, it's not a big, big deal. I just want to make sure we don't have to swap out again, that's all. 17. And we gotta leave Crouch on for like an eternity. Hey, it's Gaius! Okay, I didn't talk to him yet with Bud. That's fair. Welcome, my children. Come closer. Yes. Hello there. What can I do for you? I'm Bud. I came to listen to the wisdoms to become a great wizard. Hello, Bud. There was a great mage named Halcyon long, long ago. His name is not mentioned in history, but he was much larger than me in many ways. Thanks, Gaius. Come again, my children. So I'm glad that we backtracked. That would have been super bad if I forgot this. We're gonna have to have a lot of force encounters, so this is a good opportunity to learn new abilities, I suppose. It should be 17. So I think at this point, as long as we use up our skills, it should be very fast. Wow, he didn't even kill the basic rap light. That's how bad the magic is. That right there is why I don't use magic. He spent all that time charging, did less than a single swing. 
It just it just makes no sense to use. Unless there's somehow like 20 enemies at once, which is not really a thing in this game. I think that's 17, so let's go to 22. Is the number I want to go to. Just to ensure that I don't need to do this later. Because we've done it all with Spear, so technically I need less. Ooh, Clear Feather's a really good pickup. Yeah, we don't quite one-shot with Power Attack, it's so sad. Take the Seeds, though. Getting Seeds here is huge. It saves me time later as well. So yeah, this is where the game gets kind of backtracky to do these. So let's find that we're slowly getting through these. I think that was 19. Hopefully we get seeds. I don't care about the XP, even though we did level. Should be 20. Eventually, if we- we should be getting a new weapon at some point regardless. Actually, now that I think about it, we should be getting a sword at the end of the game, which I'll probably swap into. Since we- we are playing with bonus save files, I believe it's either a one-handed or a two-handed sword. So I'm not in a rush. I think that was 21. Now we gotta go through, like, Kilma. So if I have 22 lunge, I don't need it for the rest, so I can keep on spin and crouch. Because I need 26 uh, spin. I might need higher numbers for other classes, I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out though together. Would have to double check the charts. But our goal is basically just to unlock the abilities. I like the ability unlocking concept, but I do think some of the numbers were a little too high. Like, I wish it was just spear usage with ability versus raw, like, ability usage. I don't know how we acquired electricity. That's honestly kind of impressive. Okay, so I can swap out now. I think I'm at 22. One. Leave it as spin plus crouch. Which I do like as a combo. I actually genuinely like spin and crouch. Leave crouch here. Now we should be good. I just gotta leave crouch on for a long time. So I guess if that was 18 of spin, we could do 8 more with spin. Is testing my memory of how how much do I remember these rooms as I do them over and over again. Clear this up. We will not need to basically equip Crouch at all in the future after this at least. Ooh, du double win cap? Oh, that is kind of tempting me to break the game, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that is so tempting. We got double the item I need for duping money. Well, not really duping, but like you make absurd amounts of cash. Ooh, monster? Oh, it's the wisp. <laughs> Whatever. I, you know what? I was about to say we finally stumbled upon random monster, and then I just get bodied. doesn't like it. I guess says it's interested, but he just goes away.
do mysterious but the other one as you can see this is more tedious than anything else I don't know if it makes a difference with the different melodies. You can also see why I don't bother with collecting these. <laughs> there we go. Of course. Like, you see, you gotta wait for him to come closer, and then his movement is RNG. He likes it, but he went full screen. Whatever, chat. This, this is the nonsense of why I don't do late game grinding. This right here, chat. I hate this. I love how the music basically stopped playing as well. Seriously. Seriously. Like, what is this? Alright, so if they're ever gonna remake this game, please, I beg of you, change how this mechanic works. This is so unfun. Monster hunting at least has, like, a skill to it. This is literally just, like, game and watch, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna give up. He says he likes it. He's going further and further off screen. This is absurd. Please get closer. Is that as close as you could get? Maybe it is. Love some coins. Stupid. That's what we call in the business not worth. I was looking to see if we could get a monster here. So basically, we could just enter this area and leave. And if the music goes quiet, you know an event has occurred here. Speaking of which. Oh god, it's another one. <laughs> no, it's not what I wanted. It's not fair, chat. I just want the monster that can spawn here. It does get harder to get them due to this happening. Like, I'm sure there's a chart where each element likes something, but do I really want to memorize it? I'm just gonna stop the music. Screw this. Not the same number of points anyway. So anyway, this is what late game farming looks like, by the way, chat. You just get to get a little taste of it. And now chat can understand why I don't bother with this mechanic. Really, another one again? Was it was it this repeat hold on. Was it this repeatable? Usually when I come back in here, nothing happens. I think I gotta play the should be good. Got him. I mean, getting with silver is good. That's the one that I need the most of, from what I remember. So if they're just gonna be this easy to get, me getting like 12 of these, I think is all I need for the end of the game. <laughs> if I really wanna use it. Really, another one. Oh, monster. There we go. So this is what happens. The monster spawn competes with the music. I'll get one monster for chat. Damn, did you see me wiggle past? Like a god, chat. Wiggle through like a god. Uh, let me give... Animal meat. Or he'll just not notice it, that's fine. I mean, I'll win eventually. I think I could have done that without using the animal meat, but I just figured, you know what, since I finally remembered where the monster spawn was, might as well come back here. Here we go. This is normally what happens. I'm surprised we got so many in a row. Like, normally you walk in, the music doesn't change, and then you gotta do this, then you gotta go back. Sure, we'll do one more because I'm here, and then we'll move on. Yeah, this potentially will allow me to get a lot of money. 
I need him to not be over there, though. Get one more closer. Missed him. I got greedy. Oh, well. Let's move on. I'm just happy I remember where that one was. That was bothering me, because I missed it last time. And where I went, there are no monsters spawn. One of the above. Yeah, I love that you can spin and power attack to get that extra attack. I just like the utility that spin provides, if I'm not looking for cheesy resets. turn around between combos, that's sad. They can use it as like a pseudo combo reset. But like if I was going for stun lock on bosses, I could do my whole combo and then spin. And then do another combo loop again. It's always fun. I don't think it matters if I go up or down here, as long as I consistently go to the right. Do something like this. I'm surprised he got out of that combo, honestly. He stunned me and stopped me from getting items. That is so sad, actually. These enemies do drop relevant items for me. Nice. Seeds are good. be on this combo for quite a while. Because we need a bazillion uses of Crouch, according to online sources. I came to listen to the wisdoms to become a great wizard. Hello, youngin. You don't need to listen to wisdoms to become a great mage. The grass, water, rocks, and wind. Listen to what they say. Thanks, Toad. Instead of thinking makes things look better. Isn't that interesting? Things do not change as all you do is think. There we go. Okay, I missed the beginning of that. There we go. Let's try to leave now. check the requirements since I only have one source and I can't 100% verify the number of crouch usage, but I'm pretty sure with the other ones we should be good. Now we just have to escape here. From our roll number of combat encounters, we should be good. It could be wrong. Nice kill. Lots of items. 
items, maybe more seeds. Nice, more seeds is always good. So I think then we should be good to go. I think what we'll do is once we have enough spin, I'll try equipping other techniques. The reason I want to do this is because I think I need a huge number of spear usage. So I think while we have everything we need now for crouch and spin, now that we've done these fights, I think I need, if I'm looking at this correctly, 60-something encounters with that equip, which is pretty ridiculous. I might go for another one in the meantime. Like, let me do that. Um, so there's no way we haven't done at least that many. Let's try more bash. We should have. We have all the ability. And how many other ones do I need? So we'll skip that one for now. So I'll try to remember that I've skipped one. Slide. Actually, let's get Taunt out of the way. I don't think I have many taunts. Basically, I just need three uses of Bash, and then I can sub it out for... Slide. We should be good there. Unfortunately, AI is trolling me by using its awful, awful spell that does no damage. I think I'm on my own little time limit. But we should have just killed like a little over 40, I think, enemies. But we should be able to unlock most of the spear techniques at this point. Reset the room again. I couldn't remember if there was anything in this room. Let me try one more time. It's like another bonus room. It is. Ooh, different enemy altogether. Interesting. I mean, I don't mind getting three pets. I just don't think I can have four. I need, like, one free slot if I remember correctly. I might as well just get both of them here. I feel like the game is trolling me, though, right now. Trying not to be caught, but it's making it kind of difficult. Am I gonna win the meatless capture? I put the meat down. There we go. There we go. We got the plant, we got a beast. Should be able to see what those are later. Get three fights with this one, it should be good. Let's press that button. Yeah, I don't think I need Bash at all for the rest of the unlocks. And me getting extra slide is fine, this helps with the future unlock. We'll do one more encounter with Bash, and we'll get rid of it and replace it with uh, Slide, which we need a lot of. Get rid of Bash. Place this with Slide. Nice. 
at this point, I think we just need to get our slide usage up, and then we should be able to learn the one that needs crouch. Which I don't think we sadly need for a while. A wiggle movement, though. I actually hit the edge of the screen. I think this is the longest we've gone without advancing the plot, but we have to do this. So again, like, I can kind of understand turning encounters off from here. We're not really looking to get anything. If you're looking to make the game harder by just skipping all encounters, I guess that's fair. Double win cap? Oh my gosh, Chad. This is the temptation to make a lot of money is going up. The more win caps I receive, the more broken it becomes. So fortunately, once I have my ability uses up, it does speed up the remaining unlocks for the other weapons. So for example, if I use Crouch 20 times, it counts as 20 times for all weapon types. So I think that was supposed to be the intent, is that if you get stuck on a weapon, you just swap to a different weapon and try to learn new things by switching abilities. I think it's not a bad system in that sense. It could just be kind of annoying unlocking some of the other ones. Because, like, you just haven't used it 20 times, but you've used it, used it like, 18. That could feel kind of bad. So I wish there were kind of in-game hints as to what would unlock the next technique. Like, if you unlock the ability, you could see what would be next in the tree. Kind of deal. We'll do a couple more with Taunt, and then I'll remove it, because I really genuinely don't need it. So let's see. We did all of that. We got... Totes, and then we gotta go back to the jungle. By the time we go to the jungle and come back, I think the eggs will hatch. We already did Pokeal, so we don't need to go back to the mines. So we could go right to the underworld after this. And then finally, we'll be able to go to the Gato Grottos to wrap things up, because we did see that's where Selva was hanging out before. So this is definitely the longest quest to complete total, and we already did part of it earlier. Oh, no, no, no. I think we have to talk to you, because you teleport us, right? I wrote in my notes originally directions to get through here, but you just teleport, right? Yeah, we need to go to the... Forest with ruins, I think? Right, Chad? That was testing my memory. I was like, oh boy. Where's the Adi? I'm Bud. I came to listen to the wisdoms to become a great wizard. Hello, Bud. The air was filled with mana energy. Do you have a heart of any thought and feel its flow? Thanks, Rosiati. This is my forest. You can take or use anything you need. We're gonna try to remember how to go backwards. I think it was just by going bottom left repeatedly. chat memorizing a dungeon like through two weeks ago Ooh, <laughs> that could have gone really badly i could have been there a really long time chat well anyway we're out of there so we did number four who was in the Olkin mines we can take the service from the dud bears to go talk to him if we missed the opportunity earlier so now we have to remember how to go back to Olbon, which we just did. We'll see how it goes. We'll ignore Lark. I don't want to start another quest. 
we talk to you to shortcut? Wanna leave? No, I'll say I'll stay. If around you, become like this. Be oh, become like us. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um... I think it was just left here. Yeah, this is promising. I'm gonna say, do I remember the way? As long as we're generally going downwards, it's fine. I think first doorway, right? I think it was first doorway. Go up again. Okay, this is good. I remember this room. Promising. Again, it's very easy to get lost here. This is going off my old memory. Oh, that's where the chamber was. Okay, I was curious what was in that door. But anyway, we went here. I think I gotta go to the lower left. Yep. Okay, so that's where that was. Honestly, I didn't remember. Ghost Hal, sure, we'll take that item. We'll, we'll go in some of the doorways I skipped earlier. Now that they're open, more importantly. Hey, it's Oban. I'm Bud. I came to listen to the wisdom to become a great wizard. Hello, Bud. Know that you could do anything you wish. Do not forget that you are a human being, just like any other. Thanks, Oban. I'm Oban, Keeper of the Underworld. Help me around. Where to? Please, the surface. Get me out of here. Hi, right, chat. Get me out of here. <laughs> I'm not backtracking through that. No, thank you. Yes, take me back up. You bet. You'll only feel hot at first. <laughs> There we go. Hope Chad was impressed by me trying to remember that very long series of paths for each of those areas. That is the benefit of having played the game before. Holy, we would be getting lost for an eternity otherwise. Okay, let's go to Gato Grotto's. I love how far away we are. <laughs> it, was taking, it was taking like 20 years to walk here. Oh boy. What is next up on the quest list recommendation? Oh, we are actually continuing with the Dragon Arc. Interesting. I could probably do one or two more quests. I don't want to stay up too, too late, to be honest. Let's at least make it three hours. <laughs> We're going to double check how many quests we've get, gotten into. 32 once we complete this. Yeah, we should do at least two more quests. Hey, it's Selva! I'm Bud. I came to listen to wizards so become a great wizard. Hello, Bud. Children are always a little bit outside of the flow of history. They always have ideas on how they can make up for the adults' mistakes. Your childhood memories will help you throughout your magic career. Thanks, Selva. Do not fear the future. The flow of time is about to change its way. People will become free. Do I think I just go back? It's been a while since I completed this one. Yeah, I think I just gotta bring him back home. And also, a great reason to not start another quest, or I'll cancel it, and it'll make me so sad. Hopefully by the time we now walk back here, the monster eggs will hatch. I need to make sure I have less than four, as in I have a free slot in my, uh, monster corral. Which again, very weird missed opportunity. You should have been allowed to have one of every pet. It feels very arbitrary you can only have four. Yeah! Got to talk to all six wisdoms! He just leaves us. Just... The Seven Wisdoms, the end. That should be 32 quests out of the way. So we're a little beyond the halfway point of the game. 
And honestly, we got one of the we got two of the more annoying slash long ones out of the way. Although there is one that is a very lengthy dungeon. That's pretty much the end of the game anyway. So we're definitely recording everything on the journal. The reason also we're not placing the other locations is that there are events. Seventh one is girl. Oh, we mentioned Matilda. If we place buildings too quickly, we could cause people to come to the house and block our hand into the event. So, for example, if I had placed one of the final cities, or I had done enough of the main story quests, both of those would lock me out of completing that one in the journal, which drives me wild. I've had that happen too many times. So we're gonna save that wonderful progress so we don't need to do that ever again. And then I guess we'll go set up one of the final areas? Question mark? We're getting close. Let's see, we're gonna be placing the skull lantern we got earlier. We're gonna put that immediately next to the underworld. we do that let's go see if the monsters are ready do we have to go acquire lark again since we're looking to potentially fight one of the dragons and this will be a good opportunity to just get a whole bunch of spear usage up since we're going to be going into a kind of another maze like area Oh, we gotta name the monster. What do you want to name the monster, Chan? It's Beast Egg by default. Otherwise, it just becomes Mole Bear. I love that it basically looks like it's wearing striped pants for some reason. Chat doesn't have a name. What would I have named it? Homer? That works. Okay. Oh, that's the plant we unlocked? Oh no, that's... What is it called by default? Malboro? Hmm... Well, I guess I can name it something similar. Yeah, I'm like, that doesn't really look like a Balboro to me. Let's name it Murder Flower. There we go. We're leaving we're living up to the PSO names. Yeah, they're all the way down at... You look at that HP and attack power difference between them, though. That's ridiculous. Poor Kevin, he just looks so sad. Let's feed him more items. Uh, probably one more Peach Puppy, another Bumpkin if I got it. We need something to make him aggressive. Hmm. We really got one that does that. is okay. I prefer not to do that one. I don't really- a defense up is not bad, I just don't want calm as our main one, if that makes sense. Any bumpkins here, Chocobo, is funny to DH? Yeah. thinking about these others. 
could technically just make him scheming. It wouldn't be the worst thing ever. I suppose give him free stats. I feel bad for people trying to get perfect stats on the pets, because they made it horrendously terrible. You should have been able to feed, like, 20 items in there, at least. <laughs> that is quite an interpretation for Murphy there as to what that means. But anyway, into the feed box they go. Hmm. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to actually put more produce. We have been collecting a lot of seeds because we went through the lake. Normally, that's kind of what the game expects you to do. You kind of farm up a lot of seeds. So that way, if you care about monsters, you can keep them strong. This might be one of the last times I bothered with the seeds. I'm mostly looking to get one of everything for crafting purposes, if I feel like doing it later. Save myself some time. Unfortunately, we got kind of the ones that I don't like. Squalfin's kind of annoying. Cabadillo is mostly useless. Yeah, damn, we got literally none of the ones that I want. That's kind of brutal. So, I do like the long seed ones for the most part, and Bumpkin's also pretty good. Generally speaking, the color matches the seed used. They sometimes have a chance of uh, creating other seeds that we're not expecting. Let's see if we got anything else other than big seed from this. Not but large seed grew on me this time. Oh, okay. I mean, I wasn't in a rush to get this, but that's good. Now, now we technically no longer need to do it at all for any reason. I was just gonna come back and do this later, but sure. We got golden seed. And that seemed to take care of the seed. Must be something special. Here are the seeds I found on me. Brown seed. Big seed. Wow, only two seeds? That kinda sucks. So we need that for the end of the game. So I'm glad- I think that ends up being an orchard if I remember correctly. Just like another way to feed the pet. But it has been a while. There we go. Our persistence paid off, I suppose. Let's go back to the underworld. Technically, if chat wants me to use other pets, just let me know. Right now, Kevin is just kind of rocking out and killing everything. Because we've been feeding him a bazillion XP. I wish we could make him a little more aggressive. When he does combo, he does speed up boss kills. And so far, he hasn't really knocked people out of combos like some of the other characters do. But I think he's been mostly fine. I'm gonna assume we did at least two with Tong. Oops. Yeah, Lark is just so strong to the mountains. Although, honestly, Bud's weapon kind of upgraded pretty well. 40 attack power is no joke at this point in the game. Let's now go to the Norn Peaks. Guardian of Winds. Lark, so you finally found the other warrior. Sierra, do you not see? You're being tricked. He dot dot dot. Blessed Draconis. Just have no comment as to what we just witnessed. Cool. his damage to speed up the fight, so hopefully he actually acts aggressive here. Yeah, see, he he just one-shot that enemy. If he acts aggressive, the fights can end really quickly. We'll see how it goes, I guess. Fly. 
guess that's the B. Damn, he has so much more health than us, too. What a beast. Get rid of Taunt. Oh, there they go. What are you doing here? Away with you. What a disgusting person you brought. Who are you? Well, might as well talk to them, I guess. They dot 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 us. Wind colors. Dragoons of Akravatar. Eh? For Akra? Yeah, that sounds right. You are the dragon of Dracotis. I have come for your master. Take me to him. Our master sits atop the mountain. See if you can make it. Uh, oh, okay. Right, Chad? I don't think that's really gonna stop me. Dot, 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 indeed. How dare you! Fool! You think we know we don't know of your plans? I'll not be bested by such attacks. Impressive, Dragoon of Draconis! Then they flee. Away they go. Here I come. Well, time to go murdering. Should be four. Shall not pass. Death awaits you. Uh oh, Chad, he's in the stun lock. Oh no, the cheese. The cheese. He's trying so hard, but I just don't care. Oh, he did something. He got out of the sun log. Lark, please don't move the enemy. Lark. Wow, I actually stunned him? That's embarrassing. GG. You know what? Kill a boulder dash. That move is so cool. GG. Monsters! I see gets zapped. Some kind of barrier. Oh yeah, we have to kill the wind callers. As you do. I think that counts. So one more and we don't need it anymore. On one more battle. Yeah, there we go. We can get rid of it now. Cyclone Racer it saves us a little bit of time. I'm happy that we do have that skill, or else our life would be very miserable, I'm not gonna lie. The taunt is now learned. Do I need to learn anything else? So now we just need to equip this until we learn it via slide. I guess I could start learning back roll, because I do need that for other things. Skill here. 
We're definitely overdue for a new ability. Since we've fought like 30 something battles at this point. Who is it? Left or upper right? I don't remember. I guess it was left. I'll take that. Man of the clouds. So the Draguna Draconis is out to steal the life of our master. Acrovada. Acrovader? Acrovader. Die, fool! No, you are the only fool that will die. Right, chat? Ooh, the combos, though. I mean, if all he does is try to cast spells, this is a very easy boss battle. I don't blame the game for not giving me XP on this one. Also, I'm, I kind of feel sad that in this quest, this is like one of the few where you don't get to make a decision. Like, we're just choosing to kill these dragons. We went to the underworld and basically pledged allegiance to a ruler of hell. Damn minions of Draconis. <laughs> so I feel Dead like this already? is kind of rude of us. Dead already, indeed. Hmm. Do I go upper right here, or do I go back down? We'll find out in a second. Ooh, items. They're not required, but nice to acquire. This is not the right way. But we'll take the combat encounter. That enemy put up more of a fight than the boss did. I did that not kill. Nice level up for Lark. I was just curious if this turned into a music place. I'll reset it one more time. Then we'll move on. Oh well. Whenever you come across dead ends, you gotta check, because that's usually where the monsters and the elementals are, as a rule of thumb. We're just kind of counting up, so I think we're at six uses of slide. We need ten more battles. If we don't see it within ten, something weird happened. But we should have enough spear usage to unlock everything after this. We just need to use the skills a certain number of times. Fallen into the wind caller's trap. We will get nowhere without defeating them. Oops. That's unfortunate. I have to go back through that dungeon again. I got baited. Rip. I was just curious what happens if we touched it. The answer is you gotta redo the dungeon. <laughs> right, chat? Big oof. Time loss. Wow, that monster dodged not one, but two supers. What a beast. He's better than me, chat. Oh, we learned Deadly Branding. Okay, so we didn't need as many as I thought to unlock this. That's good. Might as well see what this is all about. So let's move on to a new technique. Then we need 9 grapple... 14 back roll, defensive lunge. I probably don't have defensive lunge. We'll do... we'll do safety grapple just to make our grapple count up to unlock stuff sooner with other classes, I guess. Let's have grapple on plus... 
to say back roll. Yeah, that should be fine. Although we already got a couple of these. Maybe I'll just put on defensive lunge here. Let's see, Fool's Play is decent, but it's too hard to land consistently. Short range, major damage. Maybe this will be worth it. I like Twister for sleeping enemies, and I like Cyclone Racer just for a crowd clear. Let's see if we have a new boss move, finally. It feels like an eternity since we learned another spear skill. But we did set up for a good one later, at least. Oh, love grapple. Love grapple chat. Just, uh, just dunk the enemy. I think when I replay- oh, true spear. I think when I played this game originally, I just played fist the whole time, I'm not gonna lie. But we got Brave Blade earlier. I was wondering if chat would let me use that. But, oh, true, true Spear is so weak! Why well, call it True Spear? More like truly sucks. Disappointing. So we've had a Super Sword for a while, just so chat is aware. Um, I gotta go this way. We'll say that's one grapple usage. Yeti's always a good thing to fight. Oh, I should have tested to see what the other skill was. My bad. A defensive lunge is just a way of approaching while the enemy's attacking. It's okay. I don't normally use it though for the other skills. Alright, so if we take this side detour here, we get items. Interesting. I mean, since it teleported me back out, I might as well as check. Sadly, though, as I said before, most treasure chests are just not worth ever attaining in this game. Unless you really are desperate for certain crafting items. But I, I did that since we already were forced to backtrack. I might as well as make new content up here. Right, so don't touch the barrier or we get trolled. At least two with grapple. And we had to use grapple to unlock other abilities anyway. Once we get the grapple usage up to, let's say, nine, even though I've used it before, that should help us with future unlocks in case we want to do that. Hold on, not bad. Don't know what that did, and it missed everybody. It's awkward. Ooh, groundbreaker, we haven't seen that yet. Damn, why does he just get the best abilities? Maybe I had to be like really close for that to land, which is a bit awkward. Biggest glove. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's actually good. It's not, like, better than what we have, but it is good. I want to punch people forever, chat. One day, I'll be free. Feel the power of the wind collars. Dragoons of Acrobata. Acrobata. Yeah, whatever. More like it combo to death, idiot. Clark actually trolling by moving the AI. He's not my favorite AI for sure. Any enemy that moves another character while you're comboing is so good. I knew he was gonna knock away. That's why I just did the normal power combo. There we go. Goodbye, wind callers. Raveda. That should be it for the barrier. Knew it was some kind of barrier. He says after we already triggered it.
Let's try this ability again. Oh, it's like a grab. Oh. I don't know if that's really better than the other one, to be honest. I'm not feeling that. Disappointing. Skull Dissect. I knew we could get gloves from him. Is this like a helmet or something? No. Is that a weapon? Oh, it's the oh, it's the upgraded gloves. Oh, it's so powerful, chat. I want to throw hands. The urge, the urge to slap people is rising. go. Oops. Is there, is there a reason it did that instead of letting me pause? That was weird. Um, forget how many that is. Let's say three. And we'll put back roll on again because we did have back roll out for a while. And if not, we'll just do back roll defensive lunge. Ooh, this AoE here could be useful. Let's make sure he lands it. Beautiful. I saved a lot of time. Small C. Yeah, that's four grapples. Almost don't need to use skills that unlock other stuff. Unless we've only been using it like 10 times or so, like Counter Strike, for example. Nice level up. That's five. The final ability requires 100 spear use, just so chat is clear. We got a while for that. What do you want, whelps? We may be weak, but we serve Ecravator. We want to stop you with our lives! Such worthless lives. What was that? Fine, then I shall take your lives from you. Damn, killing spree chat. It is done. Listen to the straw. <laughs> you clearly were siding with the good people right now, right chat? A monster egg? Wait, what? Oh, I don't want to do that right now. Not right now. As much as I want to go get that, I can't. I, I actually can't do that. Or else I can't do a quest later. Annoying. I think that's where you might get the chocobo normally, just for clarity. The chocobo is pretty late in the game. There's no truly missable monster. With how we've set it up. So technically, if we want the Rabbite, we could get the Rabbite again. Because technically, we could have had that over the Chocobo, but Chocobo's been doing its thing. Oh, this guy's actually putting up kind of a fight. Let's say this is six. This will be seven. Damn, he's doing some big damage. Ooh, good combo. So at this point, I'll just switch over after this battle, I think. Because I've used grapple before. Here we go, chat. Boss time. Aquavator, I've come for your mana, my master's stead. Dragoon of Draconis, are you aware of what he is plotting? Do not waste my time. Foolish name, you have yet to learn fear. There we go, we grabbed the dragon. 
we set him up? Did we combo with supers? Oh, almost. He blocked. I almost thought we comboed supers there. That would have been so sick. Uh-oh. Uh, hide in the corner? I should have said in the corner. I wasn't sure if he, what he was doing. I'll hold still, regen some HP. Ooh, we're taking big damage. Right, I'm gonna dash out of here. Ooh, he likes... He can actually get out of our combos. That's kind of scary. Okay, I'm regen... Oh, hello. That was rude. <laughs> Did he really hard target me? That sucked. So I'm in, like, kill range of this boss, by the way. That's actually kind of scary. Regen a little more HP. Seriously? I'm getting punished for like every time I've tried to dodge. That sucks. I'm so screwed. I think I'm gonna die. I've had terrible luck guessing what he's doing. Oh, I missed the super. That's not good. Alright, well, things just got a lot more intense than they should be. Right, we need to start doing some damage. I'm trying to regen some HP for safety. If he, like, randomly melees me, I should be fine. Like, right now, I'm full healing a little faster because I'm near a buddy. On the plus side, I'm keeping our allies mostly alive. There we go. We bought time. Yeah, this is the first real boss we haven't been able to cheese. Without Crouch, we don't have any fast wave regen HP. We gotta be super careful. Oh, we stunned the boss. Ooh, there we go. We stalled it out. Man, we need a new weapon ASAP, chat. Chrome, way Chrome Ray Unlock. Nice. So we did just need Grapple 9, we had everything else. That's kind of funny. Because I think that was either Combat Encounter number 8 or number 9. GG. Aggravator, the underworld awaits you. So either we're at 47 total battles, or that was Grapple number 9, or that was Defensive Lunge 12. It's more likely that was Defensive Lunge 12, actually. So that's out of the way. So let's do Tackle Evade for Raging Fury. Mana room. Mana stone. Still pretty small. I guess according to Kirk. Crying means nothing in the face of oblivion. That that feels appropriate. Those poor people from earlier just got absolutely wrecked. Great, this is a reward from Draconis. Take it. Artifact, Dragon Bone. Let's see, are we placing that next? Let's find out. Survey says, I received the power of mana. Yes, the answer is yes. Why? Why do you do such unspeakable acts? I don't know, that's a good question. I never understood why we sided with him in this game. Dot, 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 dot. We're like, yeah, we just killed all your people. <laughs> like, like, I feel like he's genuinely like the one of the most, it's like kind of unambiguous we're doing bad things. Where, like, Escad, the demons, and everything else, there's, like, at least some moral ambiguity as to who is in the right. I don't really feel like there's ambiguity here. We just kind of invaded their territory and killed a whole bunch of people. They were not really doing anything to threaten us. Because it was Tuesday, you're right. We're living our bison dreams. We gotta collect those bison dollars, bison bucks. Lark is going to leave us, which is fine. 
Cannot escape your destiny? You're telling me. We'll do at least one more area. Man, that was that was a struggle to get through. But fortunately, we should have less terrible abilities. I do feel like the longer we have to use the basic abilities, the more in trouble we are. I like grapple for bosses. Um, except for if they're that big, then it doesn't work on them. Whirl is one of my favorites. Flip kick is really good. I just don't like defensive lunge at all. Most of the time, closing the gap is not a problem. So it's like, in theory, evade can be used on bosses. It's okay. Yeah, we really want to make sure we're in kind of the upper tier ones. Very like snappy. That is a way to describe what happened, I guess, little cactus. You monster. So I think now that we've done this, we can we could go to another bonus area. It's been a while since our uh, saves have meant anything. This quest is pretty short, but if I want to go back for the bonus stuff, it's going to take a little bit of time. And that boss fight is not going to be easy with how uh, under-equipped we are. Since we haven't upgraded in, like, literally hours. <laughs> like, like, our allies are doing double our damage, to give you an idea. Like, it's pretty bad. So I believe we have to place our thing here. I'm just double-checking. Yes. If I do that, I think we get an okay weapon. I always love that thing roaring. So let's go to the underworld, question mark? Up. You know what? We'll do the one after this too because it requires you having a pet in your party, which I think is appropriate. I mean, we've we've had the pet the whole time. So we might as well do this one. Let's go to the next area, to the Bone Fortress. Academy of Magic, which we haven't unlocked, by the way, which I find amazing. I'm telling you, Chad, in a casual playthrough, we would have had uh, this place like like eight buildings ago <laughs> on the map, anyway. Working on a triple reagent mixing assignment. Miss the niece. Wait, it's like these. This. I almost thought it was supposed to say thesis. My brain is like, no, that's not what that says. Welcome, remote battery. How are things so far? Uh, I survived a actually difficult boss. <laughs> With terrible, terrible skills and bad weapons. Well, we'll say below average. They're not the worst they could be, but they were definitely not where we should be at this point in the game. Miss Thanisa said we should make stuff with reagents around here. We're having no luck at all. Even the flowerlings are helping us, but we had nothing but duds. Could you go gather three reagents for me? Bring them back and I'll mix them. Okay. Ah! This... This... Th I'll just call it these this. Dot 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 for her. It's all right, we're working hard. Ugh. You. That teacher's way too scary. Um. 
Strange ages past, people have said that plants on the hill contain the power of mana. So I think we just need to talk to all of the people. You're one of the people I need to talk to. Please talk to you. Fairy skills. Like you just shouted fairy skills. Uh no. No. No, that's not what I want. No, hopefully this doesn't give us a bad quest and Okay, so we have the annoying task of figuring out who has what. So gypsy skills is definitely one of them. Or whatever the skills. Is it you that we need or you? Not a roly poly. Star sparkles. Okay, so we need that guy's item. So it's just kind of a, a guessing game, but they walk around to make it more annoying than it should be. So we need you. We need you. We need you? No. Alright, I'm looking for an ingredient called the Silver Spotted Mushrooms. I wrote this down because I remember this quest being kind of annoying. So we just need to find the other one and we should be good to go. So who has it is the question. Is it you? Okay, so she had it. You have what I need. And you have what I need. Cool. At least this quest is kind of short. Well, I'll give it a shot. Oh right, we made some tree... Tree grand? Tree grand. Little kids take this, it'll make their heads explode. One time, Bud drank some of this by mistake and he ran around all day. Can't give you any of that, but here, take this. A long seed. That is a terrible quest reward. Field trip, I hate you, small student. Like, seriously? Such a bad reward. At least give us, like, gold or something. Like, jeez. We're so poor in this game, it's unreal. Crafting ingredients would have been nice, but there's not much I could really do with that. Let's go hand this in, and then I'm going to determine if I want to do one or more, one or two quests after this. Depends on how related they are. Okay, they're not really related to each other. So we'll do the last related quest then. He's carrying us so hard, it's not even funny. Oh, we need a way better spear. The spear is just booty. Like, we've had Brave Blade for like four hours. It is almost 40% stronger than our current weapon. And Grand Spear had bonuses, as a reminder. Or we just pick up random Skuldasek, which gives plus three to strength, which is ridiculous. This weapon alone is just insane. If I just want to dummy slap everything from existence, I'll use it. Let's go hand in the quest. I don't even think I picked up any materials that are worth it as a base item. That's the sad part. So like, I have an option of maybe creating a super wind cap for money, but I never ended up with any materials to make a super spear, if that makes sense. Unless I use the money, blamo, unless I use the money in order to get a better base material, which I guess could happen, in theory. I should probably make money at some point. Yeah, like for example, you could get some pretty ridiculous items in general. So let me let me double check. I don't know, Chad. How how hard am I allowed to break the game? Because right now we're we have a decent challenge. But I think we have everything we need to just cheese it. 
I think I have enough seeds. As I said before, I was collecting seeds specifically to create a super item. Let's collect these. So if we have two round seeds, two spiny seeds, a spring anna, which I've been holding on to, needle slash needle lettuce, which we've already hold held on to, ear of wheat, which we got earlier from one of the other quests, a poison fang, a lily pod, and nine random meats. We could create a very broken item. I think it gives plus 20 to all stats. It's actually insane. I don't get why it exists. Other than it's completely busted. And again, that's like deep diving into a super ultra obscure uh, combinations of things. Let's split these up, this should be fun. I'm just trying to think if there's something that's a little less broken than plus 20 to all stats. That literally doubles our stats. It's like we get almost double our level and stuff. Um... I could do something a slightly less broken that removes grinding from the game. Maybe that's okay to do. But so far, we've only repeated a couple of battles. Most of the time, we've just been going to and from different destinations. So, I guess I can make it? I think I only have enough to do the- oh, this- I need to see what kind of items we have. I don't really need defense up. Defense doesn't really matter in this game, unless we're playing the higher difficulties. Uh... Do I just alter the armor? It's been a while since I did this. Know what I'm gonna do? Let's save before we do this, because it has been a while since I've done this. So we were picking up a lot of uh, wind caps earlier, which were dropped by the I think they're called spiny cones that were in a couple of the areas we saw earlier, like near the lake. And uh, then we also fought I think they're called stinger bugs, which potentially. Uh, or it, I think both of them are on the Luan Highway, and both of those items lead to very silly amounts of cash. So technically, very early on in the game, you could just break money by farming, like, really easy enemies. So normally, we only get, on average, like, maybe 500 or so a dungeon lucre. This combo nets us 26,000, to give you an idea. I'm basically skipping, like, 300 battles plus worth of money grinding by just knowing that I can make this item. So I guess I'll go okay. I don't know the nuances of crafting, I just know very specific recipes. I think there's some kind of balancing where you basically want to feed it items so that way all the elements hit 9, I think is the intended goal of crafting. But don't take my word for it, I would definitely recommend looking it up. As I said before, I think I crafted like 6 or 7 times total while playing the game different playthroughs. This is one of the ones that I did. I think I select the wind cap, and then I have a million clear feathers, right? Also look to see what- oh, so we have two ears of wheat. That's good. Oh, I have exactly four. I don't know how to tell which one was the one that I altered, though. Is there a way to tell? Oh, it loses its defense? Okay, that's easy to tell, then. <laughs> oh, it's like, I could go and check. Lord of Flies? Oh, I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna pretend to tell you what those mean, chat. I have no idea. 
like, we gotta be honest in this playthrough. This is one of those things. This is a very obtuse system. I don't think I need Clear Feather for literally anything else. So we have seven with silvers, we have two of every seed, one flat seed, so I, sh I can make the super item if I want to. We have enough Cabadillo and Needle Lettuce to get through, we have two Lillipods, so yeah. I basically have produced enough to make a plus 20, which is sometimes what I end up doing. Yeah, we have a ridiculous number of items with no context. kind of need money to make money. So we could go back to the Luan Highway and get more money. I think the crystals that we need for the super crafting are like literally like four to, four to eight thousand per crystal just to give you an idea chat. In any given recipe we might need probably about probably about 26,000 or so like lucre in order to form like a perfect weapon. So this would give us literally what we need in order to craft a super weapon. So you would just go to the little one highway, and for every item you want to make, you basically get uh, four clear feathers. And then from there, hopefully that will be enough money to get a super item. Every single item in the game does something to the crafting, and it either is just like a lot of annoying resets, or you just sit there with the massive table. Sadly, there's not really a lot in between. Where is it in this list? But if I did it right, it should be worth a lot of money. Find out though. here somewhere there's oh there it is yeah so chat we took an item that's only worth four normally and turned it into 26,643 lucre just just nod your head chat we're just gonna call that legend of mana things don't don't think about it too hard like you could craft stuff into it and make items extraordinarily broken if you really want to I don't need this many wind caps. I'll get rid of a couple. Not gonna bother with the iron armor since I don't understand how you're supposed to be able to wear this. Unless it's like you completely unequip your other gear. I guess it could happen. So they have Ankh Rock. We haven't even seen that item still. Kinda crazy. Get rid of Meadow Spear. I don't think there's a way I can salvage that item. So, like, if I were to remove everything out of curiosity, would I then be able to wear the other armor? We can. Ah, uh, it stops you from using another helmet. Um... Is that necessarily bad, though? I think that's better than what we had before, right? Uh, we lose Soldier's Helm. But now we have, like, really high magic resist. Okay. So I guess the crafted item I had before, now that we have Dragon Bone, I guess it's okay, because I don't really want to stat down myself with Destiny Dice. Yeah, we, we need something desperately better than what we have, like, please let us have a better crafting base material. Oof. 
yeah, these Chaos Crystals, these are the things I remember buying a lot of. So you would basically just get, like, four something Chaos Crystals, and everything else would be all the elements. So, like, for example... Oh, I don't even see them in here. I'm not sure which one is stronger. I could just go for a base item that's stronger. Let me, let me consult the charts, chat. Sadly, we just don't have another location yet to uh, get a nice upgrade. Basically, I want a, a lot of points in Slash and Heavy. I'm just curious what else would be good here. Hmm. So the next big upgrade for us would potentially be Platinum, which we have definitely not seen at all. Maplewood, which I don't think we own. Not sure where Pearl is on this list. Oof, Pearl and Emerald are only twos of each. Well, I'm glad we didn't waste our time buying that. That would have made me kind of sad. But yeah, we don't seem to have any base materials to make our items really good. Unless I just really want to grind up our weapon with some random stuff. could do let me think I could just get some really cheap items really quickly I guess if I'm not worrying about optimizing it maybe I could just do something like get a few moon crystals for now because I'll get money later I don't seem to have the other material that I'm looking for I don't even have stones yeah it's kind of brutal and we'll get one Chaos Crystal. We'll earn enough money to make another super item later. So I just need to earn 5,000 Lucre between now and the next time I craft. I don't think that's too bad. And again, we could always just go wind kept farming. So we're going to take our base spear and try to improve it by using Moon Crystals. I might need a Chaos Crystal to kind of pump it up at the end, but it should be fine. I think the vague way it works is basically like every time you raise an elemental level it then doubles the power of the weapon kind of deal like the base damage so we could end up having a weapon that only normally has about like a 40 base and pump it up to like 400 something plus if we're really careful with what we feed it but i don't feel like caring too heavily about making this perfect i just want our weapon a little better if that makes sense since we could be using 40 attack power, I at least want to get closer to 40 with minimal effort. So let's go ahead and temper a weapon. But I think I need to unequip it first. Or else it'll be sad at me. We're to get rid of Brands. So we're going to remove that. And we got to re-equip our techniques, sadly. Another reason why I don't normally craft. I hate unequipping and re-equipping abilities. Alright, so we have Grand Spear. Keep in mind, this thing is not very strong compared to what we have options to. Let's feed it a Moon Crystal as an example. And for the weapon again. It's going up a little bit in power. Sadly, we're not getting any card abilities yet, which will help the damage significantly. Every single one of these is just a plus one, which we'll take. Hmm. 
Moon Crystal. And I'll give it a Sun Crystal, then Chaos Crystal, and call it a day. I just want something closer to 30, ultimately. It doesn't need to be super efficient. Do Sun Crystal. Hopefully we don't tech it down by accident. We'll find out though, that'll be fun. Oh, it went up, okay. We'll finish it with the Chaos Crystal. I'm not gonna worry about this. Dryad acquired, nice. All right, let's see what that did to the damage now that we formed a card on it. 28, okay, we'll take that. It's almost on par with a basic item. But it might come with some better abilities. Let's see what it has. So right now, it has okay essence. It gives a little bit to tankiness, which is fine. The better than nothing. Short range major damage. We'll try this ability. L2. I really like Cyclone Racer. We'll leave Twister in there for now. We have Grapple Defensive Lunge. I guess we should update this. So we already finished uh, Chrome Ray, which is Grapple, Back Roll, and Defensive Lunge. We don't need those anymore. I can leave Tackle on. Do I think I have 22 Lunges is the question I'm asking myself. I think I counted to 22 earlier, so I should just need Tackle and Evade. Hopefully, if I was mathing correctly earlier, we should automatically get the next upgrade. Since I think I counted to 22 lunge, and that doesn't include the lunge we were holding on to to learn other techniques, which would probably put it closer to more accurately about 30, which is more than we need. We just need 24, I think, by the end. Oh, actually, we only need 22 for total. There's no other ones that need lunge. We need 26 spin, though. Okay, so... With all that out of the way, let's go back and go to the Underworld. This will be, I guess, the final quest. We'll see how much stronger we feel, how much 5 power does. It should reduce the number of strikes we need to do on the boss by, like, 12 or 15. Just because that, you know, doing even just 10% more damage to swing is kind of important. Lark again. Do the Bone Fortress. Ooh, I hope I don't accidentally fight the super boss here. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sad. Chad, I will just legit game over if that happens. If we if we were using like a 45 power weapon, I think it'd be fine, but only a 28 on that super boss? No thanks. Let's hope we avoid it. Send something. Again, what is that strange voice? What happened? Uh actually. been using these herbs and minerals as regents for our potions. The herbs on the hill will cure anything. But lately, there's been a weird voice coming from inside the bony castle. People say that it's an old dragon called the Dragon of Knowledge that lives there. Dragon of Knowledge? Is that like a lizard? Whoa. Well, I guess we'll go forward. I'm just checking one thing before we go further. Make sure I don't miss anything of interest. Sorry for double checking this. Just want to make sure I don't lock myself out of an item later. Unfortunately, a lot of this information is just not in one place. We 
need to do it after Gus. Okay. So we did do Ghost of Nemesis. That's what I was just trying to verify where it is. So once we're completed with this, then we could do the boss, which I think we'll save for next time. I'm not going to worry about it. I will make a note, though, that we have to do the boss. Let me clear the jungle notes. I'm going to say go, go back to Bone Fortress. Optional boss time. Question mark. Here he comes. That is a way to teleport in. Ghost the Nemesis. That'll be the final Dragon Art quest for a little bit. And the last quest of the night. Away with you humans! This place is not for you! <laughs> I love we can leave or stay. Oh, we're gonna stay. Dragoo, could it be? We have come to see Jajar. Let us through. Never, evil ones. I shall exterminate you here and send you back to the underworld. Damn, look at our health totals compared to Lark and the Chocobo. Damn, we're so understated. Rift chat. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Oh, and you can't hit me? Does Spear duck the attack animation? God, Blake. <laughs> He's getting low profiled. Oh, I got hit on the way down. Stunned him, though. From Ryan, let's see how much damage you do. I think that was another grab move, which is unfortunate. Also, the Chocobo stole all that XP. Wow, Chocobo greedy for XP. Holy, he took everything. What a beast. Chocobo too strong, please, sir. Kevin wanted that XP. Gobble, gobble, Chad. It's all gone. Hallway of Cartilage. I like the kind of 3D effects that are here. We can only go to the right, right. Oh, we're not. Uh, it's like some kind of trap. Careful here. Like how the Chocobo ran into the trap. What the? Okay. So, we're now by ourselves. Oh, I missed the chest. Hold on, let me go back. For the sake of going back. I do actually need Sulfur. I was saying that chests were useless. Ear of Weed and Sulfur are worth picking up. Everything else is not worth it, for the most part. Giant Sworn, don't need it. So we're now solo. Uh... Let me check one more thing. So we are looking to unlock... Raging Fury, which needs 11 tackle, 14 of 8. So let's start counting to 11. See the swords we have to fight up here. I think they polish themselves before they go to murder. Okay, our power attack damage is looking pretty good, actually, now. It's not, like, top tier or anything, but I'll, I'll take it. I'm actually getting comboed. will grab because they keep moving too much. Unless? No. What are with the- I would not have thought the spear had so many grab moves. Don't you find that weird chat? Like of all the things? Throat slitter. Is that a knife or is that a sword? Knife. Damn even the knife is like better than what we have. It's so unfair. Where are the spear upgrades chat? This is so sad. If only we had them, Chad, we'd be in such a good position. Uh, let's go this way. We searched the skull. And that happened. So you youngins were trapped in the Bone Fortress too. I'll help you out. If you ever lost, just ask my friends. They'll help you out. 
Of course! Go this way. I mean, at least they're being somewhat helpful. There's Chocobo, buddy. Demon meat acquired. I mean, maybe... Maybe it's okay to kill these people. Like, I, I don't think they'll miss them, Chad. I'm just saying, like, the other people, they were kind of living their own life. These people, nah, it's fine. We can purge them. Holy, I'm getting Bombo comboed. And that's with the new defense, by the way. We have, like, a one extra defense more than normal. Well, I guess we're slowly acquiring money. I need, like, I needed, like, what I said, 5,000? That's a good start towards that. I think I just go back to the place I was at. Oh, I can't do anything here yet. Um. Oh, unless. No. Hmm. Oh, two people need to push it at once. Got it, got it. That's why we need the other character. Talk to the spirit. The aliens were trapped in the Bone Fortress too. I'll help you out. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to go? Third floor, second floor, first floor. I think third floor. Are you looking for Lar? Why do you serve Syracconis? I asked the same question. I honestly never understood, understood this in this game. Let's know why Draconis is trying to kill the dragons. I'm gonna say I don't know. I see. I'm sorry, but you must die. Without you, Draconis will surely give up. And that way, I will not have to kill Lark. Well, now you're not winning over any friends there, Sierra. Oh, you thought you were gonna hit me? I, I pressed that invincibility button so fast. There we go. Man, that ability is way too hard to use. Oh, it defense downs? Oh, that's actually huge. Wait, that's actually huge for us. Okay, it's really awkward to use, but defense down is a great thing to have on an ability. That almost makes up for how awkward it is to use. Like how she's just spitting repeatedly to try to hit me. So it's- oh, that's what the defensive lunge is for. I back up and then I have to hit them with the lunge. Got it. Damn, she's out damaging us. Fortunately, I do have range. She does zip forward on occasion. There we go. I love that you could do, like, leaping strikes off a tackle as well. I don't use it as often. Ooh, it's hard punishing me. Man, stop back rolling. Right, we're doing generic. Oh, Twister's on the wrong button. Wait a minute. Did I. I. Flip which button was which. That's unfortunate. I wanted Cyclone Racer there for clarity. Alright, we're gonna play Keep Away with her for a little bit. We've almost killed her. I think we could go for the kill here. There we go. The gods, your powers are too strong. But someday, someday I will stop you. She left a key behind. Let's go fix our skills. Again, another reason I don't like to unequip weapons. Stuff like this happens where I'm like, oh. Makes me so sad. Cyclone Racer is really good. So Chrome Ray's awkward, but the defense sound might be worth it. Receive the key. So now I think we can actually do something on the second floor. Like, we could have gone there first, but not really needed. First floor is just when we go to exit. We're basically just looking for Lark, aka the damage of the, of the team. Oh, I don't think this is the right way. 
I'll take this fight though. There we go. Just wanted to make sure this was on the right spot. The ability to do this with the new damage. See, we almost one shot. So if we just added like two more power, we could one shot these enemies. That ability. It does one shot the other enemies though. Ancient Robe. Is that worth it over our basic armor? Yeah, it is sometimes worth fighting these enemies just to get like alternate items from them. So you have like rare chances of getting like super good items depending on the area and how late it is in the game. So I kind of like that that they eventually scale up. I want to fight these again for seeds more than anything else. Wow, this thing takes a lot of damage from me. We got no items that time. That was kind of sad. The whole point of doing that. Rip. Oh well, we'll move on. Let's go this way. His finger points. Let's go this way. There's Lark. My sister. Open the treasure chest. by us. Sorry. Can't believe I would fall for such a trap. Also, I'm not gonna lie. I think when I looked at him, I don't think I fully understood that, like, the bronze in his image is more like a helmet rather than his hair color. I'm not gonna lie. I think it took me a while until I was staring at his actual physical graphic, but that appears to be the case. I don't know why, I just thought that was his hair color in the portrait. But anyway, we now have Lark. Let's go leave. And now, we should be able to do something at the trap area we were at before. So we're going into the later game fights with bad abilities. This will be interesting. We gotta touch this one, and then everybody will line up. There we go. Choco, Choco buddies here, Chad. Kevin MVP. Ready? Here we go. I believe now we could go somewhere. Maybe the third floor? There was a room I was avoiding on purpose. I think that's where the other boss is. In theory, I could see how hard the bonus boss is. If I beat it, to give you an idea, chat, it's a 62 damage weapon if I win. So you can imagine, basically more than doubling our damage would basically break the game, even though it's not as good as, like, forged items. It's probably one of the best normal drop items you could get, quote unquote. Cartilage. My guy doesn't really matter. Raven Feather. Not quite as broken as Clear Feather times four, but that's fine. We have Cage Hallway chat. I guess I could give it a shot once. We got some time. Bring a horror me if you wish. You will not pass. Hmm? Why, it's Lark the Conqueror. Well, well. It isn't death for you. Now I see. So you are the servant of Draconis. You should be quite an opponent. Ha 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 I think we meet again like this after a hundred years. Here we go, chat. This boss fight is going to be interesting. Wish me luck. Ooh, the power-up damage is making a huge difference in kill speed here. I can't understate, we're doing like, at least 10% more swing. Oh, of course you close range AoE. Let's 
gonna go for basic damage here. Screw this. I'm just gonna set up this. Well, there we go. He's in the corner. Oh, he's teleporting out. Let's regen some HP together. Wow, that did 20% to us. Let's back up and heal. I felt a little targeted by the boss there, Chad. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, that wasn't too bad. He mostly behaved himself. GG. I swear, if the Chocobo steals the XP. Raging Fury unlocked. Nice. <laughs> Most impressive. You just might be the one. Nothing to lose. But I suppose that neither do I. So anyway, let's check what this new ability is. Mid-range major damage. Hmm, maybe an upgrade on Cyclone? I mean, I'm all for that. We need to do just like a little bit more damage. So let's see. So we've unlocked that. So we only have a couple abilities left to unlock in general. Looking at this correctly. So we have left on the list, Triple Supremacy, Lo and Behold, Blue Dragon. Those are the only three abilities we have not unlocked yet. So the other one just requires... Let's see. Back step 12, Evade 20. Oof, these are kind of rough. Um... I guess Moonsault Double Jump for now? Just to get more uses out of these. And then we'll leave it into Spin Crouch. And then I could do the other one. So we should eventually automatically learn uh, Triple Supremacy at this point. And then the rest will be just learning these skills. But yeah, we've almost learned every single Spear ability. So we're doing pretty good with Unlocks. Again, way faster than normal gameplay. Normally, I would have, like, a third of the abilities. Also, chat, isn't it rude you fight a boss and the game is like, no, 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 more boss. Kevin trolling with the slow walk into the cutscene. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, yeah, take your time, Kevin. No worries. Boss music's playing. You'll get there eventually. There we go. I sense the power of mana. That blasted Jajara. He must be close. Jajara! In the stead of my master Draconis, I have come to slay you. Draconis, yet still do you selfishly crave mana. Have we not seen enough bloodshed? Foolishness. Utter foolishness. So Deathbringer was just a thing we had to deal with. There we go, Chad. That is a dragon. Whoa, let's dodge that. Immediately goes for a super. I'm gonna go over here. I'm assuming this is dodge. Good assumption. Next dragon, maybe. Hey, we should just rage and fury. Let's see if this is indeed mid range. Oh, it is. There we go. Yeah, we did half a health bar. That's the most we've done so far. Which is kind of sad, but it's good that we did some damage. Hopefully, this dodges. Kevin, take it in the face. Um, I'm just trying to hide behind the statue, maybe. He he slid down just to hit me. That is so rude. That is so rude. That is maximum rudeness. Um, let's regen some HP. Punish time. There we go. Ooh, Raging Fury. That damage is decent. There we go. Now some of our damage problems are over. Nice level up. We'll need that for later, I think. We go chat all the colors chat you thought you were done think again it's the real jar jara 
Only this time he's wielding the, the statues. Of course. Okay. Needless to say, if you're not ready for this quest, this quest is a big difficulty spike. I think Chat can understand why I was trying to get some upgrades, both in defense and offense. Okay, we're gonna do our best to not get hit by all that. Good. Okay, our allies are really aggressive here. This is gonna save us a lot of time. Next time he specials, I think he's gonna die. Well, oh, he's actually stunned? Wow, I can't believe we hit that many times. Never to dodge. Oh, he's coming to me? Well, I got hit for like 40%. Punish? It's over, GG. That was such a timely skill on Lock Chat. I cannot tell you how fortunate it is we got that. They cut out like so much of this boss fight. XP again. That was only worth 100 lucre? Wow, that's kind of sad actually. Chocobo stealing the XP as usual. Thanks, Chocobo. Draconis, the monster must destroy us all. Fear not, this time you'll rest forever in the underworld. I knew I sensed the power of mana here. So yeah, I think if I don't split XP, we would have been a much higher level. So in a way, we're making the game a little harder, which is good, because the game is generally not difficult. But as chat can see, if I get hit once, I lose like, what is that, 40% HP? It's, it's pretty unforgiving in that sense. Unless you've been super grinding here. So thanks to this guy, the herbs around here are imbued with great power. Jajara tried to hide that by building this castle. How greedy. You look like you want to ask me something. Uh, let's ask about Dracomus. When I locate a monastery, our lord receives his power directly. Once this place loses its mana, we'll wither and die. Then no ghosts will stand guard here. Shouldn't think about that too much. Here, this is from Draconis. <laughs> Lord Draconis takes great interest in your accomplishments. There is but one mana stone left. Our day of return is near. Truly, we are working for the good guys, chat. I still 100% never understood why we work with these people. Anyway, Ghost of Nemesis is there. So that it had three boss battles to clear? That's quite something. So next time we will uh, place another artifact, but for now we're not going to bother. So Green Cane is one of the final areas of the game. Normally you get that pretty late in general, so that's good that we have that out of the way. And I think next time we're getting pretty close to the end of the fairy arc, since we already discussed uh, quite a few things with Diana. So maybe we'll deal with Erwin next time? Let's save the game and see how hard the bonus boss is. <laughs> right, chat? Let's, let's just see how hard it is. Let's learn. We're gonna make sure we save the event. That way I don't save and accidentally undo the Cactus Diary thing, which I've done before. Makes me roll my eyes every time. We've cleared 35 different events. That is pretty good. We were at 24, we did 11 events. And that 24, I think, included an incomplete event, so we were doing super good with clearing the game. So as I said before, there's only about 68 events total. So we are more than halfway through the game at this point. We have more than half of the buildings placed. I believe there's either 25 or 26 and we've already placed 15. So we're doing really good in terms of progress there as well. I'm not gonna bother with the produce. Because it might not matter what I do here, unless I really want to go farm it and then come back and save again, which I don't really want to. We'll save that for next time. Let's see how hard this fight is. <laughs> I'm hoping with the upgrades that we gave, they're not like super crazy because I didn't do them in a specific order, but they're definitely better than nothing. 
So that extra 5 damage plus element kind of makes a difference. And the new major skill is also good. We're doing about... Instead of doing like a, th a third of their health bar... Or instead of doing about 20%, we're doing about a third of that. So. so I believe all we have to do to get the bonus content is I have to just try going back the way we were before. Because I have a game save of Saga Frontier 2, something special should happen. But now that that's out of the way, I believe we just go back to... Oh, well, let me do that one. There we go. Now we can use the elevator again. Don't know if that matters. Let's go back to the third floor. And let's see how ridiculous this boss battle is. It has been a very long time since I've done this one, so I honestly don't remember. I'm assuming we'll be in, like, basically one-shot territory, if I had to guess. So I believe all we have to do is just climb the stairs, and we should reach the boss. Yes. How hard are you? So we meet again. You remember me, right? It's me! This is what I've become, but I still want the same thing. Hey, hey, head over to Cash! Cash, Cash, Cash! Give him squad. Rawr, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! New master, come and thrash this punk! So I guess after we killed the Chobin Hoods back in Luan Highway, they turned into skeletons with the bonus content. Here we go, Chad. Here's the thing where I'm like, hmm, how hard is this gonna be? Oh no! Look how little damage you're doing! Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's hope I don't drop too many combos here, Chad, or we could be in big trouble. Uh, don't know where to dodge. Punish him. Oh yeah, how much does our super do? <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing, chat. That did like 5% of what it was like 5 health bars. Holy. Look at that. We haven't even hit his other health bar yet. So he's at like 400% health, I think. Okay, we don't want to go in the pit. Oh, I did it slightly too early. That would have been such a beautiful punish. I still abuse the iframes though. Oh boy, chat. Let's let's get some cancels in. We're doing the standard cancels. I'm not doing the rapid presses. Alright, so let's dodge this way. Huh? Huh? I don't know what that did. That's that's fine. Almost got me. Oh, he one shot. He one shot Kevin. <laughs> How much damage was that? How much damage was that, chat? He's like double our health bar. Holy, don't get hit or I GG. Oh my gosh, the pressure is actually on. Rip Kevin though. Okay, we're at like 300% in falling. Ducky Fry Chocobo, he got deleted. I think he was like 61%, he died instantly. So if I'm not sure, I'm pressing a panic button. Oh, too early again, that's fine. Come on, Kevin, I need your damage. Please attack. We need as much damage as possible on this boss. You can see he's level 61. He's more than three times our level. We're not supposed to be able to beat this. But I think with loops, we might be fine. Okay. Going full screen. We got panic dodge. Assuming that only... That actually just straight up one shot me. Wow, that sucks. I don't know if it matters if mashing recovers your health faster. Uh oh, we may be in trouble. Oh, 
glad you think Kevin to survive. Oh, he's in kill range. Oh, he's definitely in kill range now. No! I'm mashing so hard. I don't know if it makes a difference. I think he's dead. Oh, he dodged? Wait, Ke Kevin gonna save the run? Don't get hit again. Yeah, he held out. He held out, chat. That's all that matters. All right, what do I do to... Oh, go down, go down. Ooh. That was that instantly. We're stalling for... This is for Kevin. <laughs> he held out so we could win, chat. Oh, that did 42% on one hit? Jeez. Oh my gosh, what a fight. We're doing no damage. So just don't line up with him and we should be fine. I'm gonna recover a little extra health so maybe I'll be able to survive a hit. Yeah, his damage is just way too high. We are not supposed to be fighting him as I said before. We're actually doing okay. We're almost at 200% health. See that chat? He's now at like 170% health. We we're making it. I really want Kevin to attack, but he's really not, which is sad. So I'm gonna just try to stun lock him if I can. So let's not line up with the boss. Okay, Kevin's probably gonna get nuked here. I'm gonna regen a little safety health. Maybe I survive. So again, if he tags me with like a stupid orb attack, I should live now. Corner seems like the safe spot. Oh, of course. I don't know what this attack is. Oh, it's this attack. That's fine. Alright, so bottom corner seems like the safe spot. Oh, Kevin's actually attacking? And he shoved him. That's exactly what I don't want him to do. There we go. We're building meter. He did half our health. Okay, so if I get shoved again, I die. Gotta be really careful. The regening health is important because I can survive another shove if I just hit a little bit more. Holy, what a fight. I really wish Kevin was more aggressive. Chat can see why I was begging for the aggressive stuff earlier. He's just not attacking, even though he's got really good stats. Damn, chat, we need him to do better. Okay, I'm gonna run over here and hide. Damn, that attacked both of us. That's unfortunate. That was so close. That was so close. The problem is more like... it. I don't think I can dodge that consistently. If he's in the bottom corner, I can. I'll try him one more time. But that, that attack is the worst. I accidentally gave him money. So like, I think I can beat him. It's just like, if he does that attack and he's in the middle, I don't know how to dodge it. Cause the, the AOE of that is bonkers, like how much that is. Right, let's try this method. Right, that doesn't work. It doesn't sunlock him. Like, no other attack matters. Everything else is pretty much on the weekend. If I can defense down him, this would also be huge. And it didn't work. Next game. Yeah, this attack right here. <sighs> he got me on the diagonal. It's like it does like an eight wave fire, but it hits like so wide, if that makes sense. So I just feel like there's certain positions he could sit in and I just don't think I can dodge it without having evade. So because that fight ended so early, I'm willing to do a little more attempt. Also, I keep giving money by accident. So I'm mashing through the dialogue. I'll give it one more attempt, then we'll come back. I don't think I can level enough to survive this. If I had it, if I used gloves, maybe we would do it. Think about it. It might be one of the few times I genuinely actually don't use spear. So I just need more damage.
Do you see what I mean? Like, it hits such a big radius. If it was like the size of the purple orb, I think we'd be fine. We'll wait a little bit. It might be over. Yeah, I think it's over. So I, I guess maybe I just have to be point blank to dodge him. I just don't think I could dodge being full screen though. He died right as I was about to revive. That was so sad. I almost came back. Okay, so maybe the trick is to embrace him and then use my super to dodge his other attack. Because I just don't see a way I can consistently dodge it with how wide it is. Like I keep thinking I'm not diagonal of him and then it's like, it hits the whole arena. But I don't want to be close for the mouth move, so I have to kind of pay attention to the color. But the problem is his back is usually against the wall, so I don't have like a really easy route to go. Like I definitely want to be in a corner. I just don't think I want to be maybe the furthest corner, if that makes sense. Alright, let's go for this. So if I stay here, color, green, dodge. <laughs> so we'll do that to get through it. How's that? Maybe that'll be the strat. I just have to iframe. Like, I just have no other choice. That way I don't have to worry about positioning anymore. So many health bars. And I wish her buddy did something. Bottom left is fine. Yeah, its damage was terrible. I think we can win the rematch with this very weak weapon for this boss. I mean, as you can see, power attack is doing as much as a light attack could normally do. And light attacks don't even hurt the boss. I'm gonna do this. Green, I gotta dodge. I just... I'm not sure you can dodge it at a distance, to be honest. But as long as we power attack spam, we generally build our meter back. So I think we now have a strategy that'll win, regardless of whatever this nonsense is doing. Yeah, like, I don't want to be close there. So corner dodges both of these. So I think that's just the safer choice, and then I can get into position again anyway. Oh my gosh, Chad, you have no idea how many quarter roll motions. By the way, this is not like a single input for the uppercut. I'm doing like a quarter roll with it. I got confused with my sunlight in what direction. I'm unfortunate. Might just back off and heal after this. So I don't die to a shove or something stupid. Yeah, that works. I think I'm out of shove kill range. So I'm like repeatedly doing quarter circles. So just imagine if I'm playing a, a fighting game, I'm literally just spamming fireball. That's what I'm doing right now. It's not just one button. A lot. Oh, that should have killed me. I got really lucky there that it didn't. Again, we take some opportunity to heal. I did not win a twister game. Please don't input stuff when I put the controller down. I need to rest my hand after mashing it. Oh, this is really bad. If this is green, it's over. It's not green. Health total is looking pretty good. Should be fine. Onto the orbs. Doing as much damage as we can to stall for Chocobo, buddy. Chocobo buddy, Chocobo buddy can survive attacks. Alright, so we have enough safety health, I think we're fine for now. Oh, finally on his last health bar. Right, chat? Oh, like, man, do you know how many cancels I'm doing here? Holy. Cancel it, cancel it, cancel it, cancel it, cancel. Spin the stick, chat. Spin the ch Turn some butter. Holy, so many inputs. Alright, next time he specials, I think he's dead. 
We're going in the corner. Oh, there we go. Gotta dodge those. Come on, he's so close. Oh, GG. Holy, how much XP is he worth, by the way? I'm kind of curious. I went to a whole nother health bar. I only got 700 from that. Damn, Chad, I got cheated. Also, Chocobo stole from me. Chocobo actually stealing. So I got the. Ishishorin, which I believe is the ultimate sword in Saga Frontier 2. Look at the damage of this thing, chat. Oh. <laughs> chat, you know how bad I'm going to use this? It's so strong. It's so much stronger than everything else that we have. Okay, it, it, chat, humor me. I'm going to use it for like five seconds. I'm going to go kill something with it, and then I'm not going to use it. <laughs> I just want to see if we just one-touch everything. Also, my thumb is tired. <laughs> that was like over 90 quarter-circle motions in a row repeatedly into rapid dash techniques to go faster. Whew. What a battle. There we go. We, we got the strats. We've used iframes. But yeah, that fight, if you don't know how to do that attack move, is horrible as you can see just, the boss does so much damage full screen punishes doesn't care what you do just want to get into a fight where are the fights is there one over here two minutes to run so good chat all right let's let's see oh the normals are as strong as the power attack on the spear. Holy. But, like, you can do, like, the uppercuts here. Don't get me wrong. Uh, please get off of me. But it definitely combos very slow. Stop crabbing me. Don't make me moonsault you. Jerks. Caduceus? Isn't that a staff? Oh no, chat. We're gonna be forming some players deal five weapons. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I am in one of the final areas of the game. You gave me a 12 damage weapon? Are you being serious with me? That's so, that's so bad. Like, chat, come on. It's, that's like getting Elder Bow in this area. Give me a break. Doesn't even give magic up on the staff users. Stupid. Anyway, back to uh, Grand Spear Life. So yeah, this one is really awkward to land, but it is kind of worth it. I am liking Twister if I just can't combo kill. But I, I do think Raging Fury is pretty good. I think I think we have a nice solid one. It's not quote unquote extreme damage, but it is a lot of damage. Let's go save us actually beating that boss. Which is not there normally, by the way. We did it, chat. Nothing but quarter circle power attack motions over and over and over again. That's like one of the few times I wish I had an arcade stick. <laughs> oh my, hold on. I don't have one that- well, I- I- actually, I take that back. I should still have one for the PS3. But I'm not using it currently. I would have been churning those inputs, chat. <laughs> I can only be so accurate on the thumbstick. Holy, let's go save our progress. Now I could go and take the produce. That was a well-earned upgrade. The funny part is I could just use those to create a golem now. We do have like three really strong weapons if I really just want to do that. 
I think with the XP share, we're gonna be pretty hilariously low level for like the majority of the game. Yeah, like, like we just passed 200 health chat. Our pet has been at 372. To give you an idea how brutal that is. Also, the pet has like double our defense. Like, unironically, is a god. Yeah, so his base defense is better, but his stats that provide defense are way higher than ours. Holy. Oh, wait, no, no, ours is higher. I take that back. I guess that's what Spear does. It gives you defense and magic, but no luck. That sounds about right. Which is unfortunate, because magic is not a useful stat. Unless you are really dedicated to the craft, which I am not. Let's go save that victory. I feel no shame in dying to that bonus boss. He's like literally, what, double our level and a half? 2.2 times our level? Although, I wanted, as just a small treat to myself actually, I'm not gonna save the progress. I just wanna go punch something with our glove. <laughs> I don't even wanna save the XP. I just feel like deleting an enemy with the glove that we have from before. Where's it at? Yeah, let's bring this out. Hell yeah, chat. What am I gonna take vengeance on is the question. Hmm. What will survive more than a punch? Have to be something from over here. Be something in... Weirdly, maybe something in the mine or the caverns because I placed them so late. Maybe these would actually survive. So again, it doesn't matter if we trigger anything here. I'm not saving the game. Yeah, I think I used one-handed sword, two-handed sword. Clubs. I think those were my three mains. I almost one punched him. Did you see the range is not great, but the difference is the power combos kind of loop into each other really quickly. Try one more time. Bloody Knuckles acquired, that makes sense. I have to learn the cancel timing on that. That's a bit awkward. That's pretty fast. So basically, my three hit combo is five hits. And then it has a finisher. So it is a four hit combo, technically, but it has a finisher of six hits. Do you like me instantly unlocking things? This is what I was talking about before, so I wanted to showcase that briefly. Because we use all the other skills, the only thing holding back these abilities is just number of times we've used the glove. So a lot of these should just be like near instant unlocks for people that are curious about it. Which is why I said before, as long as you cycle through abilities, it's not too bad. And again, when you're trying to figure out new abilities, you'll unintentionally use an ability like 10 plus times. It's just that when you need the ones that are like 26 of something, that's where it gets a little more questionable. But most things require 6 to 10 of holding it on you in order to get it. So most of the time, you're going to have 10 on every ability at some point. So most skill unlock isn't too bad. So anyway, I just wanted to punch some things. Take a look at our... Uh... Take a look at our items, I guess, one last time. Yeah, I wish... I might craft something that gives extra strength. I'll think about it. It, it would be nice. Also, Chad, I have no idea. I don't remember what any of the special defenses do here. I don't think I've ever looked at that while playing the game, to be honest with you. I couldn't even tell you what they are. Like, that one's confused. I don't know what that one is. But anyway, we have all these other abilities. 
I guess in the future, if we stack enough wind or clear feathers, we can end up with like max wind for the card abilities. But I think for now, you know, our armor that we didn't use for a while ended up getting upgraded, I guess. So we do take very little damage from magic and stuff, but I wish we had something that gave more defense. So it might be worth upgrading the Dragon Bone into something that gives stats. We'll see. The Oak Wood Ring is kind of nice. It also provides no defense. But I think this should be fine. If I somehow get tagged by that nonsense, at least we're pretty tanky against that. So anyway, chat, let's talk. So, we beat a bonus boss, we cleared more than half the quests in the game, we're basically at the point where we should be wrapping up some of the major quests. And believe it or not, there's more than one town we have not unlocked, to my recollection. There's a port side place we haven't seen at all still, and the Magic Academy we also have not seen. So there are still a lot of other places for us to visit. And those will unlock a string of quests. So basically ongoing, we have the Jewel Hunter arc, the Fairy arc, the Dragon arc, and then maybe Diddle Capella and Niccolo, I think are the five major arcs so far. Three of which are more important than others because they get a special image. But yeah, we're making a lot of progress. We, we, we did basically all of those today. So can't complain there. But I think now, chat, it's time to say goodbye to YouTube, as there's nothing really topping beating the boldest boss with, like, not really great items. So, if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and hope to see you again next time.